Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore Survival. Now if you remember last time, we were vexed by the Vex because they showed up behind us to vex us in the back and it was not very good because we got vexed. Anyone else understand a remote part of that conversation? I don't. So we need to bounce into a new world. Hardcore? As there? Apparently, there is a name cap limit. We were vexed by the vexed. Fuck me, this is going to hurt. You know, I'm actually somewhat smart today. It's it's it, it's rare and far between, but I'm somewhat smart today. I got water. I got my pop and my cancer, but I got water, and that's the important thing. It was a very uh, in-your-face kind of block. It's very important to have water. Okay, let's take stock on our... Oh, I thought that was going to be kind of cool. For some reason, I got a bouncing light. Bouncy, bouncy leg, so it's like, I don't know what to do anymore. Like, I, you know, when you get, uh, I wouldn't say anxious, energetic, and you just start fucking bouncing your leg. Yeah, I've got that happening, and it's right underneath my, uh, desk keyboard area. And so, if you just see me going like this for a little while, you'll know what's happening. So, I'm expecting to do this for a long time today, because, fuck me, uh, eating bricks is fun. Totally, 100%. I love the taste of brick. I mean, like, it's not the most god-awful thing in the world, except for it kind of is. Oh, cool. Nice. Uh, so yeah. Anything else to talk about? Nope. I am already out of thoughts and ideas. I am... I think I've told people that I'm not the smartest tool in the shed. A kind of, uh, a blunt square, as people would say. No, they, they wouldn't say that. It's apt. It's very apt to who I am, but they still wouldn't say it. It's rude to all the people who might be as sharp as a stick. Well, that's kind of one. No, shik sticks, shicks, sticks can be sharp. Same with rocks. So I guess the answer. Oh. They're as sharp as a bag of rice. As sharp as a potato. That's a good one. That one's kind of also lame, but still, it's a good one. And he. Iron in the available areas, please. I don't want to have to go too far to get iron. Pumpkin. So, we did learn last time how to A, make a pumpkin farm. Pumpkin and melon farm, so much so that we can actually uh, duplicate that once we have the ingredients. And resources. The big thing is the resources. It took a lot of resources, surprisingly. Like most of the stuff was fine, but it took a decent, decent chunk of resources. I also thought about something. Since nowadays you can waterlog, uh, you can now waterlog uh, rails. What's the point of putting water beside the uh, thing when you could put it underneath? Right? You no longer need to have water above it, or beside it. Thank you. <laughs> he, knows, he knows what's gonna happen, he... He knows, he knows. 
Thank you. Your uh, friends were a little bit smarter, though still not the smartest. But it's okay. It's okay. This is not my normal streaming time, if you could guess that. Uh, I actually stream uh, 10 hours from now, usually, and on a completely different day. So this is... Well, this is my normal streaming time, just not Minecraft and not on Twitch. I stream at this time on YouTube every Wednesday. It's great, but it's also awful. I'm running out of games to play on YouTube. No. I really like blue flowers. I don't know why. I think I like them so much just because they have such a unique look to them. Like, it's, it's a very pleasant color. So I'm gonna be getting a Fletcher instead of uh, chickens. Probably gonna be getting a couple of Fletchers actually. I will make sure of it. Because fuck chickens. Being dependent on feathers? That's a dumb thing to do. Fuck, we ran out of arrows last time, a couple times. We were so dependent on feathers. That's cows and horses, cows. Nice. Criminies, fuck the grass. Fuck. I hate grass so much. Okay, our first step is going to be identifying the villagers and then I guess doing something smart. thought of a way to make an automatic uh, villager protection system. You get a daylight sensor, turn into the night mode. When night comes, a block with pistons will push down or whatever. And then you could turn it off and on with a lever. That way things would be automatic to close up at night if you were going to be in the area but just happen to not be uh not still be alive that, that didn't make any sense did that make any sense no happen to not still be alive what kind of fucking drugs am i on apparently the good ones because i can't remember what i took no that's a joke I can totally remember. It's called ecstasy. Ecstasy. Okay, bunch of chickens. A lot of chickens, actually. Hmm. I love your house. I love it so much that I'm going to take everything from you. You literally had all three different types of You've literally had all the grow holes. How the hell did you do that, man? Okay, let's see the different houses. Useless. Was that a butcher's place? Butcher's shop? Oh, it's gonna have a smoker in it? No, that's not a smoker. Everyone's at the village. That's a lot of villagers, actually. A lot more than we had in the last place. One, two, three. They, is this two different villages? I think this is a glitched uh, outcome of having two different villages. That would make sense. They got two bells, and there's usually only a single bell per village. Nice. 
what am I doing? Just fucking grip that out of the wall. So we'll have to kidnap everyone later. We can do that with uh, access to beds. Two librarians? That's nice. What is your thing? Bookshelves. Trash. Actually, it's not all that trash, but trash. What a, what a, what a fucking trash bag. There's golem. So yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of golems and cats. Everyone can keep their house. Unfortunately, I need to secure where I'm going to live first before I lock them in the basement. And it's too late in the day to lock them in a basement. Isn't that right, Mr. Golem? Mr. Golem agrees. He doesn't say it, but he agrees. That's how it is. Let's see, look at the house. Must be the mayor's house. There's a lot of nitwits, holy shit. I need. Guess I'll take cobblestone. And go around with cobblestone. That's a bunch of nitwits. I'm only locking them in for now, I need to kill them later. don't let the green boys live in this land. Armor boy. I'm actually really surprised at how many people are in this village. I'll have to kill the golem later. Like, by later I mean almost now. Just because he's gonna get mad at me if I kill the nitwits, and then he'll kill me. And I don't really want to have to be watching out for my back. Okay, no nitwits here, just four people. Probably the same with other stuff. That's a librarian. Person, that's the librarian's house. She's done. We find it kind of funny if uh, pickaxe did more damage on this guy. If like a little pickaxe did damage. Good guys, two, one green guy. That was not. There you go. Any green guys over here? There's a yellow guy. A flesh colored loser. Thank you. Green guy. Now that should be the entire area. Two libraries. A big house, a big house, a couple of smaller houses, and this would be the Fletcher's place. So for now we're going to commandeer the Fletcher's house. That's nice. I should go back up there and steal one of those white beds. You know, from the place where we killed the nitwit. Considered smart. Aha. 
your zombie tricks don't work on me. I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about anything of any value. Sweet dreams in the bag. Okay, let's see. Chest. Actually, wait. We got five iron from that one golem. Holy shit. But we're not gonna waste it. On an axe. How are you outside? What house do you belong to? Oh shit, I forgot about these houses, didn't I? Okay, so... There's one house, currently, still open. Cool. It's okay, now we can just... Lock it back up. Apparently, I was susceptible. Where did you come? No, you came from this house, didn't you? Over this way. Come fight me. Fight me, bitch. I don't think I have the right to say that when I'm literally hiding on top of a three block pillar so he doesn't actually hit me. Oh yeah, he gave me four iron this time. There's not bits in here, is there? No, there's not. Okay, so I'm gonna have to tear down like half of these buildings later on. But for now, you can keep your area. chicken. Nice. So I guess for now I should do the smart thing, which is this. Yes, this. This doesn't look like the smart thing, but I just have a lot of food I want to cook. Ooh, look at that moving texture. That's kind of cool. Excuse me, this is a private domicile. You are not allowed to enter. Get the fuck out. Rude people. Am I right? Very rude. Very very rude, very unprofessional. I can't believe cooks in the real world act like this. They barge into your house and say, This is now my kitchen. I work here. And you're like, What the fuck? This is my house, dude. And you're like, This is my kitchen, dude. It's mine now. Rude people. Always. All the time. 100% rude. Can't believe it. We gotta take down their little shops. We don't really have to. I'm taking down their little shops. These people don't have a free market. Their market is me. And pretty soon it'll be a very uh, broken market. Gotta love... What is this? Uh, abuse? Almost. It's almost abuse. Are you? Thank you. Hate chickens. <laughs> I don't know why I have like a pathological hate for chickens now. I think it's because of the feather thing. Because they weren't giving me enough feathers. They didn't give me enough in protective ingredient ingredients ingredients ingredients. They didn't give me enough. I 
forgot that you could get mossy cobblestone from here. That's kind of weird, but, you know, we'll take it. Well, we're taking it all, but still, we'll take it, okay? We'll accept that this can happen. So I took a walk the other day. I know it's a bit surprising. Uh, it's not as surprising when you learned that I was only taking that walk to get food. But I took a walk, and on my walk I started thinking, wow. I started thinking about uh, survival situations. You know, things like Man vs. Wild, where you're basically thrown buck naked into a, in, into a survival situation out in the wilderness, like complete wilderness. And it got me thinking about wood. There was this little, little tiny fence, tiny little fence that I walked by. It was a painted white fence. It was literally, if I were to stand it up, it would be shorter than my shin bone. Like, it was a tiny, tiny, fuck you fence. And it's like, huh, you can't use that for lighting a fire, now can you? Because you're not supposed to burn paint. Like, you can't put painted woods in a fireplace because it's very, very toxic. But then I thought, wait a minute, can you? Because the toxicity only really matters, like, gravely, if you're using that fire for cooking. And then I started thinking about how hearths are, or what the hell a hearth is. Because a hearth, I do believe, is a fire... No, uh, hmm. I'm not quite certain if a hearth is a fireplace, like a, a dug fire, recessed into the ground, like a cooking fire recessed into a ground, or if a hearth is a fire meant to exude warmth, kind of like a fireplace. Literally just being a different name for a fireplace. And it's like, well, which one is it? Because I can see it being a... I can see a hearth being a fireplace. Because I've seen uh, indications that that is a correct assumption. Thank you. I've seen indications of that being the correct uh, assumption, interpretation, whatever you want to call it. Whereas, fireplace is different, or a uh, cooking fire is different, but it's like, what would the recessed, because you could just probably call it a cooking fire for that one as well, but it's like, there has to be a unique name for it as well, right? There's no way that they would just call it a cooking fire and just leave it at that. Fortunately, people aren't... Well, no, they'd be interesting enough to not to do that. Don't see how that's an unfortunate thing. Asshole. Can't believe they broke my axe. I think they should make different noises for the different uh, act of tools breaking. Because that thunk noise was very, very metallic. And I don't know about you, but that was a stone axe. I don't think there's any point of it that will be making that very, very identifiable plink sound or whatever it was. Okay, this. Thank you. Give me that. Put that. This. 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 I need to collect a lot more resources. I am actually doing this for a smart reason. I do need to cut down all of the uh, trees and then eventually the buildings. Because the buildings are kind of useless to me. That is about the only approximation that I can give. 
don't know why I came up this one. Maybe I thought it would be faster. Oh. Night time. Ah. Should go destroy my bed. But none of these losers get a chance to go inside of it. Or ah. choose to go take it as their own. that with a... what is that? An axe? Yeah. I can see why I don't keep blocks in my offhand anymore. Shoot, oh darn. The world is coming to an end. It'd be nice if you gave me that shovel, dude. Kinda need it. Isn't this the house with the, uh, it was? It was the fancy house. Ow. You know, it's probably not the smartest thing to do it here. But it's like, if I do it in the daytime, they'll all escape again. And now we have a yellow bed. See? Robbing the dead is a viable option. I mean, like, no one was really doubting me on that, right? But now we know it for certain. There's another golem around. Because they are some tasty eats. Like. Damn, son. That's some nice creeper. So a stone axe can kill a creeper with a critical in two hits. Whereas it takes like what, three hits, even with a critical for a fucking like iron sword to do the damage? Like what? Thank you. Cows really don't bring it any use, do they? This building is also useless. Eventually, we'll just leave the fucking roof. Should that be a fancy thing if we just opened up the walls and left the roof and, uh, what is that? Stripped out logs there? I can see that looking cool. little shady spot. Probably not the best idea to have a nice little shady spot since that's good for uh, mobs, but nice little shady spot.
This is actually a really dumb idea. Thinking about it at this time, it's a very dumb idea. I'm very happy I don't have to murder, like, spruce trees, and a lot of them at that. I no longer have to kill, like, a hundred spruce trees, so that's good. Because Last World left me with a lot of trees to kill. I say kill, but it's like, I, it left me with a lot of trees to cut up, open, to remove from existence. I guess that would be kill. Give me that, give me that, give me that. I don't have any bones. Okay, that's a weird declaration that I just made, but I don't have any bones. Thank you. Give me... That. 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 Uh, and these two are just spared. Awesome, now we have some stuff. That's gotta be good, right? That's gotta count for something. We need to make a water bucket. I need to make a water bucket. So what do people usually have in their survival kits? Like, you always want to know if you'd survive. It's actually hard to tell since, uh, well, no matter how good you, s no matter how well you plan out your actions, it's theoretical and you don't even know what things might actually happen. Who knows, you could go 100% good, you know, live the good life while you're surviving. Or everything could go wrong and you could suffer for the end of time. Both options are very viable. One's just a little worse. And by a little worse, I mean very worse. No one likes the second option. Hey, it's my first mossy. Mossy, mossy sea, mossy cobble. My head is itchy. I don't know why, but it is, and I do not like it. learned that I probably should have taken some information before I joined this. Actually, no, we're fine. We don't have mushrooms nearby. We don't have to care about it in the slightest. I was thinking about uh, how I should probably keep having this stroke because I don't remember what I'm going to say. Uh, figure out the uh, mushrooms, the mushroom, the suspicious stews, I should probably figure out how they work. Like I know you make a little suspicious stew out of some random flour, but I do need to figure out the effects of the different flowers. That's what I need to figure out. It looks like we got snow, spruce, birch and oak, plains, so we're actually pretty set if we want to make an animal farm out of cows, since we do have the... What's he called? They are called the... Dense posts. I am smart, see? I have the dense post, and... 
the fence post wheat that's what I needed I heard I heard I heard I heard not that I heard some interesting news about animals If I wanted to go like, I don't have a shovel. Fuck me. Fuck me. Don't actually do it. I don't like it. I promise you, I don't like it. I know I could have literally just gone up another level, but it's like, the more levels up, the more annoying it is for me to walk. animals are not able to actually make that jump on the reverse side. So we can check that out on our own leisure. Uh, I we need that. Come in like this, and I can't come out like that. That's convenient. Actually, very convenient. Wait a second. Can I do that with the fillet with the pillagers? Like, uh, like literally the pillagers. I wonder if I could do that with them. Make a wall with. Granted, it is expensive. It is a very expensive proposition. We're not going to do it yet. No. We're going to clear out that. Mm, we're not going to clear out that. I realized as I said that, that those villagers would be right next to me, and that's annoying. As much as I love them, as much as I care for them like they're my own children, that's annoying, and I don't like that option. But we can, but we can, on this side, into a cave system. Smiths, they'll trade you stuff for coal, and it's like, nah, mate. Unless I've got, like, the most coal in the game, you ain't getting fucking jack all. I do need to make torches, though.
Tak. Of course I have to dig right into ground. that gravel again. But there's more coal. Wondering, Tra- How did he get here? How did you get here, friend? Actually, uh... Well, I mean, I do believe we could just... go the trader and take his llamas. got some range to it. I wonder if I can pacify them by just, like, leaving them alone. Because I don't want to kill them. I usually kill them. I always, I almost always kill them. I, I'm a fucking monster. I kill them a lot. You okay, sir? There we go. Now he's pacified. <laughs> Now, I think I learned that the llamas will follow each other, even, like, if you take one llama on a lead, the rest will follow, like, pack animals. But I don't quite remember, and I don't know if it's true, even. Yeah. Maybe they have to be tamed first. Friends yet? Nope, we're not friends yet. You, uh, gonna let me not have to jank around my friends yet? Oh, he's angry because I, I killed his friend. Llamas are a lot more stubborn than the horses, holy shit. Horses would already be tamed at this point. Ah. You gonna be friends yet? I can feed you carrots. I can give you carrots. I mean, like, llamas like carrots, right? Llamas eat vegetables. I can give you grain. I got grain right here. Want some grain? Oh my god, <laughs> they actually eat the wheat. I did not. Well done. You gonna be my friend too? Be my friend. I got another piece of grain if you be my friend. I might end up just stealing yeah. like a hundred llamas from the trader. Okay. We have a crafting bench here, so let's go make two. This. He's got six, and he's got nine, and he's got six. That's okay. I like to figure out how useful llamas actually are. I guess they could be like pseudo shulkers, like very, very weak shulkers. You could think of them that way. 
forza Llamas are weird. Llamas are very weird. Iron! Our first legitimate iron in the game that we didn't have to murder an animal, an innocent guardian for. I'm calling the iron golem a guardian, because he was a protector. You do need to search up that llama thing. Minecraft llama. Llama. Llamas are a neutral mod that can be tamed and used as transportation. Llama spawn at light level 7 or above. Blah blah blah. Llamas do not accept saddles, so the player can't control one's movement, even when tamed, thus leads are the best option. Leading a llama actually signals up to 10 nearby llamas, both tamed and untamed, to follow each other, forming a caravan. The caravan can have up to 9 llamas in it, including the lead llama. Whether it's an adult or a baby, leading a second llama forms a caravan of 10 more llamas. So each llama you lead gives you 10... Oh fuck, that actually... There is no intentional limit on the number of llamas following a player. Llama can be equipped with a chest by right-clicking a chest onto it once tamed, given 3, 6, 9, 12, or 15 slots of injury space, scaling directly with its strength, MBT. Once equipped, the llama cannot be retrieved by killing the llama. It can be accessed by ship, shift and right-clicking the llama. Llamas can be equipped with carpets in their carpet slot. Each equipped carpet color shows a different pattern rug on the llama's back. As a different pattern, this can be useful for color coding storage, similar to dyeing shulker box. For the purpose, neutral blah blah blah. Llamas are also towards wolves and spit without provocation, but they don't attack tame wolves unless provoked. Wolves are fearful of llamas. Strength. Wolves are fearful of llamas strength 4 or 5, always run away, similar to zombies and villagers. Wolves flee from weaker llamas less, less often, despite the spitting being tricked out, dying, llama spit shows death message, llamas are hostile towards zombie. And villagers. They defend both themselves and wandering traders. They spit entity belongs to llama. Damage can be spit. Someone by the command does not do damage. Llama spit can be deflected if the if hit by the player. Llamas can be repeatedly tamed. Rep can be repetitively tamed by tamed by repetitively riding them until hearts are displayed. Done by pressing the use on the llama while holding nothing. Taming success depends on the llama. Chance of successful taming temporary value of zero and a maximum of 100 when a player rides an untamed llama. Random number from zero to 99 is chosen. Llamas get tamed successfully if this number is less than the temporary value. Otherwise, it increases by five and the player is bucked off. Temper can also be increased. Feeding a llama. Unlike any other tamed animal, tamed llamas still retaliate at players. The player kills a wandering trader and stays away from the trader llama for wild llamas. Are tame when the player rides it, and the player can place a carpet on the llama. Neutrals naturally spawned llamas, trader llamas, 
are untamed and cannot be ridden while being led by their wandering trader. If unleashed, they become tameable or tamed. Of addition, trader llamas do not despawn. All tra tame animals are death meant displayed if the llama's owner is killed. Tamed llamas do not spit at mobs. Tamed llamas do not spit at mobs that attack its owner, although it spits at any mob that attacks the llama. Offspring take the appearance of one of the parents at random. Its strength is chosen at random by an integer between one and strength of storage, stronger parent inclusive. 3% of the time, the resulting strength is increased by 1, but it's capped at 5. Select the row based on the stronger parent. Mom shows the probability of the results. Offspring having strength stat. Mom based health is 30, 15 to 30 points, and it's calculated based on its parents the same way a horse. Mom is breed. In the vicinity, if they are on a lead, although one of the llamas may not respond to being fed right away, they accept hay bales if needed to breed. Feeding a llama food can alter its behavior, restoring lost health or making a baby grow faster. Babies ordinarily. Take around 20 minutes to mature to adults. Table below lists the effects of food. Two food items llamas accept wheat and hay bales. Two hearts for wheat, ten hearts for hay bales. Different sounds, blah blah blah, block entities, blah 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 blah. Carrots and the bats, best friends forever. Read all the animals. Okay, so that's the only thing. Got it. So, wow, that's a lot of information that I just read and was completely useless for literally everyone that doesn't have a llama. You know, you, you, you just gotta love. You just gotta love the llama. This makes me feel like I should just go out and read different Minecraft pages. Like, if I need to look up something, it's just like, read the entire page like I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Granted, I was surprised that I was able to mine while actually reading that. I mean, like, you wouldn't think it's possible. But I did it. Mm -hmm. there. Like, I was moving around in my... It's a pretty simple process, you know, this mine. You just do the same pattern over and over again, but I was doing it all with, like, my periphery. That is why there was the occasional... Uh, broken mark. Extra dig through the wall where I got too focused on the llamas. So that is actually interesting. We. It's gonna take a while before we get shulker boxes. Like, it's gonna take a while. Because I am a coward. And. Yeah, I'm a coward. I am okay with admitting that. And so, I think llamas are gonna be our thing. Llamas are going to be our trick. There is a cave nearby. There is a cat nearby. This coal might lead into the cave, actually. Often times coal veins lead into caves. It didn't this time, but often they do. I could try and like 
follow it, but I really just don't care that much. I know it's not, you know, nice of me, but it's like, fuck that. I how deep this cave is already. What block level are we on? 40, so we still need to go literally... Actually, that, that does make me think I should check that out now. Minecraft diamonds. And using our pickups, more stronger, dropped a single diamond. Mind we need a tool, it dropped nothing. Pickaxe a tent with the fortune, it can drop an extra diamond per level of fortune, allowing maximum four with fortune three. Nor is mind using a pickaxe with silk touch, it will drop an iron a uh, diamond block. Diamond ore. Rather than a diamond, it's found at level 15 or lower, most commonly between 5 and 12. Okay, so we are digging too high. Right? Levels 11 and 12 are the preferred levels to mine as they contain less lava. Ah. Okay, that's why. That's why we dig at 11 and 12. That makes sense now. Because I do believe 11 was like just above the lava. Just above the lava level. Because all the other levels literally sit underneath the lava pool. So that makes more sense. Oh, there's a cave. Don't really want to deal with the cave, but there's a cave. I mean, like, I just want to go down in my mind. Keep vibing quietly. You know, I'm doing this very dumb. I don't need to make this three blocks wide immediately. I could have just gone down two blocks and be like... Or gone down in a single block formation like this. Saved a lot of time getting to the bottom. Oh, hey. No. No. Anyways, we're going back to a regular mine. You can use it for firework stars? That's that's such a waste. waste. There is actually something else I need to find out. I need to look up the suspicious stew flower effects. Because I am going to end up using them at some point. Because I do believe their duration is longer if you make it yourself as opposed to purchasing it from the villagers. To mention, the effects are a lot more clear-cut. Now, I'm not quite certain if this is actually confirmed or not, so... so... These are just spider hisses, right? They're not cave spiders? Oh, those are cave spiders. Those are cave spiders. Why? I mean, like, clearly the answer is there's a... Hmm. Oh fuck, he missed. He missed, he missed. He really jumped for me, holy shit, he really jumped. 
I am in a very bad situation. I'm in a cave. I have a shield, so there's that. Yes! Hunt each other. Hunt each other like children you are. Thank you. This is a very dumb thing to be doing. This is this was not a smart idea. This is a dumb plan. Still hear the spiders. Oh, I can still hear the spiders. We're going back down. We're clearing this out. Back down. We're just we're just going back down. We're I don't vibe with anything that's happened so far. Oh we found it. No, no. Yes. Come at me. Don't come at me, actually. That was a bad choice of words. I did not mean to actually make the challenge. Okay, suspicious stews. Allium, fire resistance, two seconds. Azure, bluette, blindness, six seconds. Blue orchid, dandelion, 0.3 seconds. Saturation. Saturation down, I think. Jump boost, four seconds. Lily of the valley, poison. Oxide daisy, night vision, tulips. We used craft. Okay, so it is saturation up actually. Ability jump, night, poison, regen, resist, slow, slow, speed, strength, weakness, water. Absorption. We got absorption. Bad omen, blindness, conduit power, dolphins, grace. How? Why? Who would ever do something like this? Husbandry. Eat everything that is good for you. So literally eat every single cooked item in the game. Well, no, it's not even just cooked item. It's eat everything you can ever eat. But why? What kind of freak would do that? I mean, like, I would. Maybe. I need more chests in here, actually. I also probably should make an actual furnace, so now... Let me make a blast furnace, actually. Furnace? Blast. I don't know how to make a blast furnace. Right. There we go, furnace. Nope. How did... How did I get a second furnace? How did you come about? That's actually kinda spooky. Not gonna lie. Actually, I need that. I need all this 
absolute trash out of my inventory, out of my box, out of my good stuff. I also need the iron. Mob, mob. Give me chests. End this night. No, that wouldn't go there. We're putting rocks and shit in here. Uh, wood. 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 Anything made out of wood. It's a lot of wood. I need all that material to go out here because it's wood. Chicken. More productivity. What am I doing? I don't know. But I need another cheese. There we go. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. Good, good, good. And then, good, good. Placing chest that appears. I feel like that would be a good way to hide stuff. If you were trying to hide something, to put it little half chest back there or something like that. Uh, so I guess we still need to make more chests because that's wood. items up there. Blow. Metals. Trash items. That is metal. Uh, metal. The 
This is going to take a little bit of getting used to for me. I'm not used to this specific layout. Okay, now we have enough iron for our more. You know, out of having two of those fucking things here, it's kind of weird that there was no uh, blacksmith. I should have made a bucket. Oh, well, we can get more iron. I do have a bed as well, so we can definitely get more iron. Okay. Okay, no, no, no. We're not doing anything like this. Products, wood products, wood items for me, wood product. Chest. Why was that chest? We're gonna take this downstairs as well. And that. Food. Because fuck me. Saving up on arrows, because I know what happens when you don't have arrows. You get riggedy riggedy wrecked, son. Yes, that was Rick and Morty reference. It's not tall enough. Holy shit. Stop it. Stop it. You're ruining my sleek, un. what is it? Fettered? Unruined tunnel design. With all your sleek, tunnel ruining water. And it. I'd be fine with leaving it as an open, you know, scar. Proof that there is a that I have ripped through the earth. Except for the fact that there's fucking cave spiders on the other side. Like if they were regular spiders, I could handle it. I could deal with regular spiders. I ain't dealing with cave spiders in the slightest. I think someone dealt with today's cat litter because my room feels dusty like I, I feel like I can taste dust in my room and it's not the best taste in the world It's definitely not... It's not a bad taste, like, it doesn't have a taste taste. But it's just, like, the fact that it makes it drier and harder to do anything is off-putting. Maybe it wasn't smart to drink that water right there. I can feel it. I can I can feel the immediate regret as I drank that water. 
I just took a swig from my water jug, and I don't know the last time it was refilled. It shouldn't be bad, it was a quote unquote sealed water jug made from city tap water, so it sh should be pep. It shouldn't have pathogens or anything that would kill me, but it's just like, hmm. Maybe this wasn't the fuck you. Best idea in the world. Keeps like. So as my body uh, slowly dies from that, you know, literally dying from poisoning myself with water, of all things, I gotta drink some Pepsi. And hope that... And what do you know? The Pepsi makes it better. <laughs> Literally immediate relief my body was like hmm well now here's the doctor the doctor is in the disease may stop my body is weird i have become it is clear that i have become so addicted to pepsi that i can't function without it actually that's not true i'm i'm still I'm addicted to Pepsi, but I'm not in functional. I'm not. I'm not non-functional. Like being out of. It's like being a functional drunk. It just doesn't happen though. Like whatever was in that water, because Pepsi's super acidic. Everyone knows Pepsi's fucking acidic is all hell. Pepsi and Coke. People have found them useful for simple things like, uh, what is it? Pesticides, yes, because they're super acidic. Well, because of that, it seems to have cleared out whatever I just drank, so that's nice. Happy to see that my uh, personal doctor is saving me time, money, and hassle after I poisoned myself. Maybe I'm making too much of a sell on drink Pepsi, it's healthy. Like, people could say that after hearing that quote-unquote uh, review. It's not healthy, don't drink it. Don't start drinking it, you'll become addicted. It's very bad for you, it's just the fact that Whatever effects it has seemed to remove the effects that I was under. But it's not healthy. Don't drink it in large quantities. Like I do. It's like advocating how... It's like advocating drugs. Oh yeah, drink, smoke cigarettes, they make you look cool. It's like, don't smoke cigarettes, they're bad for you. Well, they make you look cool, sure, but they're bad for you. It's so weird how we, how people advertise cigarettes to such a high degree. Like, you gotta wonder if those people recognize just how horrible, or not even horrible, how deplorable their actions were in the future societies. Like, you always gotta wonder that. If people would ever look back and think just how deplorable their actions... Holy shit, we're on eight. Okay. So this is eight. Nine, ten, eleven. And this was part of my... Okay. I guess we'll just use this area as our makeshift base for now. All the way at the bottom so we can just kind of clear it out. I 
nice to see that the world saw fit to grant me pleasures beyond my world, beyond my life. I'd be able to say that. It's not even a quote, is it? It's whatever fucking bullshit I just thought up in my head. That is true. It feels weird that you can't make a pickaxe in any formation than having the sticks in uh Kinda be funny if you could go like this and go or not like that. Like that. And that be a pickaxe or something. At least I would think it's funny. And you know what? My humor is all that matters. People don't matter. It's only me. Submit to me. Grant me my pleasures. I need to find iron. Holy shit, I'm actually out of iron. Like, I got two iron up top, but that's not enough for anything. It's enough for shears. It's not enough for anything of actual use. I'm also running low on, uh, what is that, coal? Coal. That is not what I wanted. There we go. Since this is a very good way to get myself killed, thing that is part of my plan to not have happen. Oh, another spider. I saw your cousins down there. They're all a piece of shit. Right. I need to make stairs now. Probably a bit, probably a bit many stairs, but it's stairs now. I don't hate doing this, it's just kind of annoying. I'm too overzealous, it happens like that, holy shit. We're in the deep slate. I guess I could have gone like this. that this way actually leads all the way over to the other side, we can put a door here. Right? 
One, two, three. I think I'm in the right spot. I guess I am in the right spot, okay. That is my indicators. This, this, I need a door, thank you. That's not how you make a door. Also need the coal. We can do stuff with the cobblestone. Right? Okay. Some iron right there. That's good. First branch found. Nothing further. It would be nice if I could actually okay. hit it. Nice. Lava and tough. Weird that this place extends so far down. Deal with lava. At least this one has a spider spawner though, the other one didn't. The one on the last world, it was very small. It did not have a spawner. Or if it did, it was hidden. It was a very hidden spawner. An off bridge. This is a terrible bridge. If I already used that as a bridge, that would be terrible. So this is its own self-contained little spot. Nice. Now we can start actually looting up on all of the stuff that we need. Well, need quotations. All the stuff that we can get. Okay, that does give me lapis. I was very afraid that that would not. North, north, and then it's like go four blocks or whatever. One, two, three, four, and then diamonds. Apparently, there was a trick for that was discovered with lapis. If you find lapis, go north, dig either up or down, and you'll find diamonds. It seems that trick is proven true, so... And it has to be on diamond level. And we are within the diamond level. So we're gonna get some diamonds pretty soon, we just need to get some iron tools. What is this, day like five? Day six. Diamonds on day six. Pretty good. Pretty good for me. Pretty good. Pretty good. Diamonds on day six. So I have to go back anyways. I have to go. Clear out all these little pieces of shit. 
all these trash bags. Some iron. Let's keep cutting away at these support structures. So I saw a video recently that a uh, married prismarine was tough. It was a pretty good combination, so that was pretty surprising. By marry, I mean like they put them in the same build. They paired them together, they made them stand out. And it was very good, it was a very nice combination. As I said, which was surprising because tough is usually not considered has not really been found useful for building yet. The color scheme and stuff like that to buy just doesn't mesh with all the blocks. Still have another stone one. That's another thing with lapis. This diamond, diamond, diamond. Pretty good. Out of diamonds, honestly. Six diamonds there. Ooh, there is spiders above us, so we are, I guess, still pretty close to the spawner. I'll have to come back this way, anyways. Get the uh, one, two, three, four. just saw was coincidence and not causation. Right? It sounds a lot like coincidence to me. What is this? We stand here. North. One, two, three, four. Should be around here. Finding jack shit. Aside from a pit to useless death, but still. Found six diamonds. And actually, wait. Yes. Yes. Nope. 
Definitely not this one. So yeah, this definitely... I'm probably just not doing it right, in all honesty. Not to mention, what is this, not on diamond level? This is 14, so yeah, I don't think this one would even count. Technically, if we were two blocks down, which is probably... Yeah, we found it on this level, so technically it would be sitting at 12 itself. Yeah, that would have been sitting at 12. It seems, yeah, it's got to be sitting on diamond level. We're sitting at 13. Oh yeah, there's a spot beneath us on this side. Completely forgot about that. Let's explore that after, because that might connect us to the rest of the uh, mine. Probably would connect us to the rest of the mine, actually. And then we can use the diamond trick, diamond hunting trick on that. There we go. That's a big brain ideas, big brain thoughts. To the level below us. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you can keep your day job, sir. Or, you know, lose it. I don't really care. I care enough that I killed you, but I, I don't know. That this joke fell flat pretty quickly. Stop judging me for it. someone is. You can feel their eyes. Their soul. Cringing. Nah, that's just me. It's okay, my, my existence is basically a step above cringe. I know where I sit. I know where I sit. I keep forgetting that there's a tunnel beneath us. I was like, wow, there's a tunnel. It was literally my thought process. I think Deep Slate isn't an awful block. Deep Slate's actually pretty pretty chill. I like Deep Slate. It's just horrible to mine because it's not fast enough. all the string, so we can just leave it there for now. We don't need redstone or anything like that. We can leave that there for now as well. Diamonds. Finally, we have a bucket. I should probably bring the wood again. Yeah. 
Ah, yes, this was me. Thank you. That was actually kind of dangerous. Well, now that we're in the cave, we need to do this systematically. Systematically? Yes. And for also no. It's a very uh, complex. So we really need to be careful in here, because we could get tricked, bombed, anything. Also a spider spawner. That was not a very adequate uh, solution to that spider spawner. It was a very uh, janky solution, but it's a solution for now. We still need water. And a diamond. And wood? There must have been like a wooden bridge here or something. What is with this weird as fuck terrain generation? Holy shit. Like I knew the game was kind of messed but still. danger with what I've done is now the spiders are going to start piling up. 
I do believe there's a limit to how many of the spawner can spawn at one time in the same chunk. But still, it's going to start piling up and it's a very bad scenario. I've died to spider spawners before because I was too fucking stupid to actually break them. Granted, I absolutely despise them. I'll probably keep one alive. Most likely not, this one. It's a bit too, uh... Too far down. It's actually... Albeit, it's actually pretty close to where we need. To what we would need. Neglect all the material that I can. I'll need this iron to do arm shit later on. Not so much need the gold, but you know, I'll take it as well. That was really dumb of me to just leave that open like that. Despite the very clear fact that the mobs could have come from there. Very silly of the mobs to not take that chance to murder me with all of their strength. directly in front of us, and directly in front of us is this cave system. I swear I just heard something go hiss and like a burning hiss as if it was melting from lava. It was not the most optimal sound to be hearing at this time. Is it not a bad sound to be hearing? I don't know. Might have been dying from entity cramming. Thing we came back here to block off this zone, unless it's completely blocked off, it's not. Lots of up and down, lots of up and down. I don't look above me when I'm doing anything. At all, apparently. spawner. So we might end up actually keeping that spider spawner alive. Just because it's... Okay, no, that's a pathway we... Just because it's so close to this, if we keep them both alive, we can connect them or something. Granted, you don't really want to connect a spider spawner with a skeleton spawner now, do you? Probably not, because... They have different requirements, unless you're just open dropping them.
like instead of doing an XP farm, if you're just gonna open drop them, then it would make sense. It's into the wall. I tried playing Witcher 3 today. Or not today. Yeah, today. It's difficult. Like it's not... It's not that bad. It's... Understandable, I guess. Definitely not my cup of tea. Like... I'm not a big fan of third-person games in general. That's part of the reason why I can't stand things like Grand Theft Auto, which are canonically third person on purpose. Granted, I do believe they have the ability to turn it into first person, it's just not the same though. It's close, but not the same. Sad. Now we are full up, let's go drop off some supplies. And we have two more chests to put down. Uh, this way? Nope, not this way. This way. Glow squid. Kinda interesting if we found like a uh, zombie spawner or something. We definitely have to link those together. We're on what floor 20? Yeah, those those lapis ain't gonna be working for the slightest. sound. Oh, I made it through it. Diamonds. Under the area, so that's fine. Gold. Still have room for that. Don't have room for that. Iron. Got room for that. Now that my inventory is pretty full, I need to. Ish. Nope. I need to be mindful. That would be the right way to say it, right? Ooh. Oh, well, there goes my lava. I 
another that is another cave spider spawner. Why? That might actually be the one from the up top actually. Well we're not dealing with it now. There was A too many mob mobs around and B just an awful, awful place. die from that fall, right? Yep, Strider. Nice. I'd love to take more, but I can't, so I do actually need to go back to the base. Sigh, if only I was half as rich. Yeah, I shouldn't be tempting fate like that. I should not be tempting fate like that. I'll say that, and then I'll and then I know the game will be like, oh, you want to be half as rich? Okay. Well, here's your death certificate. And I'll be like, well, that wasn't exactly how I meant it. And they're like, oh, yeah, I know. I'll be like, well, that's kind of sad. Mean of you to do this to me. There was diamonds. Properly, I didn't even map out this level, and this is the level you come back up on. Okay. So we were on level like what four, something like that? No, I'm like level. We just go like this. Wow, it was literally right next to us. Good thing we have that second door. Okay, give me that door. This door. Protected. Safe. Now we have two doors. Uh, give me more iron, thank you. This, 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 this. Okay, now we need to separate the junk from the good stuff. Good, 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 good. Junk. Good, 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 good. Everything else is literally junk. But it's useful junk at least, so we'll keep it for now. I need that shovel back, I need that iron back. I do need to take some of these. Um, go like this, go like that, and go like this, go. Oh, look at me, now I'm this. Thank you. Uh, give me back my fucking coal. This. Where's my bucket? There's my bucket. Maybe I should go up. Maybe I should go up.
make some cobblestone. Forty should work. It's probably a lot less than forty needed, but still. There's the water sprouts. Oh wow. Yeah, pretty. I got pretty close to 40 right there. I needed what, 36? Yeah, 36 if I don't count that one. Pretty good. Cobblestone. Food. Mobs. Blocks. Ores. Good. Actually, now that we're up here, we should take a pin and go like this. Give me that. Give me a one of these. Grabbing a water bucket give me the cauldron recipe. Like I understand why that the cauldron is related to water, but still. in the grass. Mm. It's about my only joy in life. It's about my only real joy in life. I need to do this for multiple reasons though. Number one is mob proofing. Sad to say, but usually, unless you get rid of all the grass, it gets pretty hard to uh, deal with mobs. It gets kind of difficult to deal with. All the different, uh... Oh! Look at that, we have passive growth! Didn't even have to entice the poor bastard. He was just like, hey, yeah, sure, I'll join your party. I know you're only supposed to spin like that when you're in your grave. Except letting off a few people, but there was way too many. <laughs> or letting a few plants survive. But the plains are notorious for their excessive amount of grass. Let's go like this. Let's go like 
hat. Let's open up this side. all the way to it, I could make sugar cane. I think my idea might work. Blocks to break. Lots of grass blocks to break. I do believe the more dehydrated I get, the more tongue-tied I also get. So, you know, at least we know it's might have correlation. Granted, also the more loopy I get. I need to start thinking of stories to tell. I'm a pretty boring person, so my life's not interesting, but the stories I tell might be. And I need to start thinking of those stories. I had a crafting table in my inventory because I'm smart and I ran back to my house because I'm dumb. So clearly there's a discrepancy here and I just don't want to face it. I should probably grab my plants because I don't want to have to come back again. Again. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, gimme. I don't have any. Well, this plant will be foiled if I don't have sugarcane. Where is it? I mean, I can go. I can go out and get more sugarcane. But still. I really hate that I have like an itchy trigger finger, and so when I'm doing stuff like this, I can sometimes just click because I'm fucking dumb. Let's see, if I were to go like this... Because this is for the sugar cane farm right here. Okay. 
This is faster than any other way that I could do it. Since you cannot till pathway bricks or pathway dirt. And then I can still expand this out that way into the open plains if need be. Probably uh, should get to sleep now. I don't have my bed anymore. Okay, yeah. Probably sleep before the other mobs show up. There we go. So I need to go find sugarcane. We can survive without the melons for now. We don't need the melons. sucked if I didn't hit the crit. Like, it wouldn't have been a death for me since I have a shield, but still. It would have sucked. Oh, well, I guess for now we can do this. Start planning some beat and shit. carrots here and then beet roots can go on the big one. I don't think we'll need much carrots. We don't really need much of any of these plants actually. You know, it's just for my own vain sense of satisfaction. Would that be right? Sounds about right. sounds. This is just baseless murder. I, I probably shouldn't be doing it, but I am. But I am. <laughs> Don't have room for the sugar cane. There's some squids. Fortunately, I can't kill you today, Squiddy Boys. That's a cave. There's a lot of caves around here. This is a very weird generation world. So as far as we know, we only found one thing of sugarcane this entire- there's some sugarcane. The mineshaft is within probably a certain range of our 
farm, we should be fine. <laughs> Unwarranted murder of the innocent. I'd love to kill you too, but I don't have space in my inventory. We are dirty, dirty wool. It's covered in dirt. How these sheep must think. They lived their entire lives growing their coats only to be slaughtered by some two legged freak. You gotta be wondering how animals think about that in this kind of scenario, because they clearly don't know what we are, or how dangerous we are, rather. Or else they'd be skittish like cats and foxes. That's another thing. Slaughterhouses are weird. Because technically... It's hard to talk about the ethics of them. It makes sense as to why they exist. You know, there's such... If there's a need, something will exist kind of thing like that. Clearly, there is a need for meat in the world. Sorry about the fountain, I'm going to be returning the water in a moment. Okay, let's return the water. Like, clearly if there's a need, something will happen. Something, someone will make something to fill it. sad for animals that live in slaughterhouses. Like, they clearly have, in most slaughterhouses and uh, things like that, really bad conditions. But, if you look at things like North Korea and stuff like that, or other really disastrous areas where there's really no knowledge of the outside world, hard for beings that live within, you get, you can say those confines, to know that there's something else and to be sad for themselves. If you, you get me? You understand my point? It's hard for animals in general, even without this topic, it would be hard for animals to, uh, have an understanding that they uh, are in a bad scenario, a bad situation kind of thing. Because, well, number one, they don't know what it feels like to live quote-unquote free, so it's like if you were to take humans, like just humans in general, and the first generation and like stick them in a bottle, the first generation would be probably the most, no, the second generation I do believe would be the most miserable. Because the first generation would have already lived a good portion of their life free, and they might have revolted or whatever, and the second generation would have only heard stories of it. They would have been the ones in the worst off look situation. They would have been the most miserable people. Okay, 
and then this is what six across one two three you can so we just learned something today you can till broken stuff so that's good to know We also have a lot of dirt, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, four, five. We need to move that entire thing this way. And probably make another thing we'll bob. Okay. So if we need to move this three this way, four, five, six. Got it. the water way okay okay but yeah it, it it's hard to it's hard to think about things like that you know no one wants to think about it it's like just kind of one of those things that people can think about I had a second shovel in my inventory oh well now I have a third shovel understand that you're suffering, are you actually even capable of suffering? Well, that's a weird question. That's a weird way to phrase it. If you're not aware that you're suffering, are you actually suffering? The answer is yes. The answer is clearly yes. There is, there is no doubt about that. But you don't recognize it as suffering, you just think that it's the norm. Or at the very least, most people do if they are suffering without realizing it. You just think it's this norm. Everyone does this kind of thing. Actually, what am I doing? I'm gonna have to tilt that stuff up later. Two, three, four, five. I 
a nice green lawn getting quickly devoured by the non-lawn maker. Does bone meal work on sugarcane? I don't think so. I'm not quite certain. It does not. Okay. This is mostly for aesthetics. I do for my other uh, way of uh, planting with the big squares made out of big squares. Okay, no more of that. Let's look at this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Actually, wait, let's go this way. Just a weird thing. That we can that we can tell others that something else unrelated to us is suffering is a weird concept. Well, unrelated quote unquote, it's still somewhat related. Guys are having fun. That's right, you're sixty and you're nine, so. I don't know. Kind of find them cute. Kinda find them dumb. Kinda find them cute. That. Poppy. Flower. That. Food. Food. Chink. What is that? Black, gray, light gray, white. Colors. part of my body. Holy shit. Not okay. That's probably not a healthy thing. That hurt my arms. That hurt my neck. That hurt my stomach and rib cage. I hurt those two because it pulled on them, but still. Probably not the healthiest thing to be hurt from stretching. Oh well. This is a deep mine shaft, actually. That's like, what, 20, 30 blocks of difference? Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Ooh, for now, let's just keep going. Let's keep plugging away. Will you 
just fucked up stone. Just fucked up. Damn, there's lots of diamonds on this level. Level 8, okay. Unique. That's our what, third batch of diamonds? Now, I don't know if that's just a cave, or if that's, like, an actual spawner. That is not... there we go. Kinda spooked me when I was like, wow, this is taking a long time to pop. Kinda happy it did. Not gonna lie, kinda happy it took a little while to pop. But I think 8 is gonna be our new mining level. Like, for just basic strip mining and shit. But that's our third or fourth bunch of diamonds on level 8, on around level 8. one's got complaints? Great. Happy to see that we're all in agreement. And if you don't agree, well, too bad, your vote just got vetoed. is when I need it. say anymore. I'm actually kind of flabbergasted that I even had conversation topics this long. Did I? I don't know. I've had a lot to talk about, but like nothing to actually say. No, that's how the redstone blocks work. That's kind of annoying. It's much harder to, uh, it's kind of annoying. out of these sections. I can't close it up. But it does feel like there's a cave above me, judging from the sounds. Excuse you, this is a private domicile. Exactly. 
We don't allow pedophiles. Only perverts. No creepers, only perverts. It's the diamonds from earlier. Skeleton rattle. What are you rattling off a couple of facts about skeletons? Like how they're losers? Thank you. Skeletons are kind of big losers. Big old losers. Great thing about having big cases of uh, cancer right next to you all the time, every time, is that whenever you get to give in to temptation, i.e. drinking another pop, it's right there ready for you. You don't have to work hard to get it. Granted, that's also a bad thing, because you don't have any ability to hold back on temptation. I mean, like, you do what's called willpower, and all of, all of us should, uh, learn how better to use it, but still. Ooh, inventory's full. That's why. Wondering why I wasn't collecting any more items. There was no item collection sound. Time. Diamonds, either items that I deem valuable. Yeah, nothing else. Nice. I will need to have a second. Uh, chest of junk, eventually. And by that I mean pretty quickly, actually. It's getting filled up really fast. Don't leave anything behind. Built my only mo motto. Granted, I don't follow that motto all that well. so much. I really wish that they added something like bat skin, where if you had like four or nine bat skins, you could make one whatever thing which would allow you to repair your Electra, so you wouldn't have to worry, waste time getting these, those fucking uh, phantom membranes. Because the phantom membranes are cool and all, but they're also useless because, you know, mending, but this way you would just be able to do a little bit more and it would have the bats be actually useful. Like, having mobs that don't even drop experience is kind of a kick in the teeth. Like, they don't drop an item, they don't drop experience, it's just a kick in the teeth. Hell, the bees! The bees are more useful because they actually produce products, even if they don't drop anything. I don't know if they drop anything. I think they drop stuff. Round. Fancy fancy. Like, wouldn't that be cool having like you wouldn't really want to farm them. There it's not a product you want to farm, but it, 
gives you the option to do something about it. Should need be. break you with my fist even though this should have happened instantly because you know cobwebs usually aren't this strong like I understand the idea that cobwebs are super strong because they're made of spider silk but still but still one cobweb that was causing issues. So they make these caves out of all of the presiding bricks. Presiding? I think that would be an appropriate word. Residing. Hmm, maybe. This entire area is cleared. At least of a uh, square. That's clear, that's clear. The only thing that's left is to take out all the minerals and materials, but I don't care about that yet. Oh, oh, need that. And I'll put that in a different spot as well. More glowberries, at least. Okay, give me a secondary axe and a secondary pick. I'm running low on food. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but I am running low on food. Or not the smartest thing to have happen. In an area where I'm guaranteed to be hurt. I am guaranteed. Why? What do you get from being here?
Oh, there goes that brick. Kinda sad. I like keeping my materials. I heard a creeper walking around with their little wiggly toes. I don't like creepers. Like, I don't hate them, they're not the worst mob in the game, but still. My experience is I'd almost want to put the worst mob in the game as Cave Spider, but... That seems to be the one I've died the most to, I think. Kinda hard to tell, though. These are all in different worlds. Lifetimes, different existences. Okay, let's get back to the ground. Still on episode 20. Level 20. my priorities right now. I'm pretty sure that was a cave spider spawner up there. Mmm. I love to hear the spiders hiss. Zombie apocalypse are, are interesting. Apocalypse in the in the essence of them are interesting. Not to say that they are a good thing. I personally think that they're interesting. So this is how it goes. That way. okay? So yeah, that's definitely a caves. That's definitely a spider spawn. The one we saw earlier. understand how movies create zombie create zombies and have them be an actual threat because the slow moving shambler which is the general idea of a zombie is weak av as hell if it's slow enough that just a brisk walk a brisk walking pace is faster than it then you know you're doing something wrong. Like, sure, they're silent, except for they're not. They wouldn't be. Even if they aren't making noises on purpose, they'd still be making noises from sh dragging their body through the world. No offense game, but all offense. It's dumb. Don't 
don't know where he is and I don't seem to care, but still. Like, it's a, it's a very dumb concept to think that, oh yes, zombies, because they are infectious, it's like, no. They're... Zombies are very weak. Very, very weak. Like, no, nothing against the people who, you know, abuse them, but zombies are very weak. Sure, they are infectious, but so are vampires. You don't see us using those anymore. But no, uh, what's it called? They spread through bites, like, in a real-world zombie apocalypse, like, if one were to happen here, there'd be a couple issues that people would have to figure out. Number one, what are its vectors? The biggest thing about a zombie apocalypse is its unknown value, or, uh, unknown dangers. If the infection is literally, oh, you get bit, you die, well, there's no unknown danger there. In fact, it's actually the most passive danger. You just need to avoid getting bit, which is pretty easy if you make any kind of armor. You, you, see, them, you see it in movies and TV shows and stuff. The people will hold up in a gas station or a grocery store and it's like, why don't you make some armor there, buddy? You have magazines. The human jaw is not that strong. It's strong, don't get me wrong. But it's not so strong that it will be able to rip through a magazine in seconds. Like, you just have to look at the basic anatomy of humans and you'd be able to see the flaws. Because there is a lot of flaws. At the very least, you know. Don't have to worry about being in about that anymore. Humans are inherently flawed, very, very flawed, actually. Our biology is good, but it's only good enough, it's not actually great. And so, even though human bite strength is actually pretty strong, it's also just generally weak because, number one, we don't have sharp teeth. We don't have serrated sharp or pointed teeth. We have, we have some, but even then those are very blunt. We have very blunt teeth. Not as much as a herbivore, but still. Uh, I don't know why people also leave long hair. In the apocalypse, I understand fashion is great, but anything, anything at all that will help protect you, cutting off hair, anything, you would think you'd do in a heartbeat. I understand going bald is kind of not the forte by just, you know, cutting down to the scalp, but you need it short enough that it's not going to be in your way, a hassle or anything of that kind. And yet they leave it like that, because they're dumb. Fuck and Jiminy Criminy, stop scaring me like that. It's like the second or third time one of them took fall damage, quote unquote. Ah, yes, that must be where they came from. So now let's think of the actual issues in a zombie apocalypse. Number one, it's infection vectors. We've already talked about that, you know, a little bit, not today, but on other days, about how 
you'd need to know if it's spread through bite, if it's spread through blood, if it's spread through just the air, and we're all infected and we're just waiting to die like the walking dead. Or if it's spread through the air through like a spore like the last of us, which are entirely different vector methods. If we're all just already infected and just waiting, then in truth, in truth, then a bite doesn't mean jack shit. The only reason why a bite is dangerous is because it holds a lot of diseases that could get you sick. And so... Jim should... Oh, fuck. I'm thinking back to the first season. Uh, the first season, there was a... I'm pretty sure there was a guy, his name was Jim or whatever. He got bit on, like, the stomach. And it wasn't a big bite, it was just like a little, ooh, teeth marks. He shouldn't have died. Like, they had antibiotics and other shit that they were giving him. It took him several weeks to succumb. He shouldn't have died. Everyone's already infected. The disease, the bite would have only given him whatever dis other extra diseases. But even then, they had modern medicines. Albeit not the best and most uh, precise ones, but they had modern medicines. That boy should have still been alive. What kind of fucking bullshit is this? Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, it's just a lot of bullshit. The Walking Dead broke its own rules. Because if everyone's already infected, you can't kill someone with a bite and say that's the infection vector because there's no virus to infect them with that they don't already have. At most, it's a killing bite. That's why a lot of the zombies, quote unquote, either do just general like mass hemorrhaging to the humans through bites and wounds or they give, uh, what's it called? Or they do bites to the neck and shit. And so, the infection vectors would have been death, as opposed to actually being an infection vector. Infection vector would have been death and not an actual disease or virus or whatever the fuck they want to call it. Unlike in The Last of Us, where the infection vector is technically spored, which just so happened to be uh, linked to something else. I've come up here before, clearly. Oh, yeah, that's where it is. Okay. I should go back to the base, because I've looked at my inventory three times and I'm full up on stuff. I'm a very, a very silly person. No, that's bad. That's bad me. We are already full up on stuff. We don't need to keep exploring. We need to dump off our jack shit. This is the wrong direction. There is a door here. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Good, good. Sure, good. Good, good. Jack shit. Food, that, I need to go back up for stuff. I'm getting slowly killed by my fan because it is 
blowing very dry air at me. And it's like, okay, I guess, you know, I can, I can understand it a bit, but it's like... Starting to choke my lung. I only have a singular one, of course. So I got all those chickens done and two coal. And even take three coal, it was two coal. Awesome, so we got a lot of this stuff left. Thank you. This is just a fancy little design. Okay, that's... So, if biting in the in the Last of Us, the infection vector is the spores. Of course, the infected can transfer those spores via a bite wound, and it only takes a single bite to infect. Which is it makes some sense, I guess. You can also be infected by breathing in the spores. So there we go. That is one proper infection vector. In The Walking Dead, everyone's already infected, and for some reason, you can still get deathly infected with a bite wound? It's like, that doesn't make sense. Nothing about that has any bearing on anything we've already been taught. Right? Nothing about that has any actual understanding. I wonder if... I'm kind of afraid of putting a carpet on those guys because I feel like their special wandering trader thing will go away if I do. Holy shit. Maybe it's because I'm talking so much. Maybe it's because it's just dry. But holy fuck, I'm dehydrated. It's not even dehydration at this point, it's just fucking cotton mouth. Like, fuck. I need to breathe a lot more through my nose and less through my mouth, I guess. Yeah, I guess that is actually part of the problem, because in order to get enough air to talk in large quantities, as I am doing, I am breathing through my mouth because I am a fucking loser. I mean, like, accept it. No one needs to get on my case about it. I accept it. Okay, so technically this is still a dangerous zone. We need to be... We still need to be not necessarily vigilant, but definitely careful. More cave. Definitely, this definitely is a. Ooh, don't like, don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that sound. Don't like anything about that. Let's just keep doing what we were doing. Slowly ripping away 
every block that matters to anyone except for me. I like Minecraft. In evidence that I play it a lot. In evidence, or would it, or would it just be evidenced by me playing it a lot? Because that's two different statements right there. I'm pretty sure in evidenced would be more like in observation, see this evidence kind of thing, and evidenced means. No, I guess it would be the same thing, just different wordings. Hard to speak a lot. Because I feel like these would be the thoughts that were going through my head. There's not many, trust me. At every time I think of something. But... Going through your head and using your own logic that way feels a lot different than speaking it aloud. Which may be why I would not make a good public leader in any capacity, because holy shit, I do not have the speaker skills. Well, that's one way to go back up. Have a hole. We to find it, I guess. Nice. Got the can't walk on top of the things if they're two block guy. I gap. Okay, no, that is a spider spawner and other stuff. friend. I need to break these spawners, slowly but surely. Is there... this must be like two or three different mobs. Two or three different, uh, what's it called? Caves. All at once. This is way too big to be a single mine shaft. That's the word, mine shaft. Oh, good thing that, uh, fucking zombie didn't show up and kill me. I guess he can't, because, uh... That sword now. Oh, 
Exactly like a battle dome. Kinda. Not really. Okay, that could have been. Oh, this, 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 this. I don't remember where the last chest was. I think it was down this way. Okay, that is uh, definitely a way to do it. We are getting there. It's slow, but it's steady. You know, we are getting there. And that is all that matters. This progress would not be happening if I was not willing to put in 10 hours of my life today. I told myself I should do a 10 hour stream today instead of my regular two two hour streams. I don't know if I was smart or dumb, but I'm doing it. I also said I should play Minecraft instead of my regular Fallout. This one was more smart. Like, you can't really go wrong with Minecraft, can you? Nah. The answer is nah. Kind of afraid of getting hit through the bricks. Like, I know it doesn't matter all that much. I'm not gonna die with my health, but still. Still kind of afraid. This area is kind of just a jumbled up mess of different mine shafts, I'm pretty sure. Oh look, there's another one. Wait, what am I doing? Nice. like what number six I think the last one didn't have any and this one has what, six that's ridiculous at least we we're able to keep this party going
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There you go. You guys, there were no spiders in that nest yet. I guess maybe it hadn't like properly loaded in or something. Or maybe with all the other nests around, it's like, maybe I don't want to be a spider nest. Maybe I want to be cool. Nah, they never think that. If they did, they wouldn't exist. Or they'd exist in very faint amounts. Also, hey PC. You're not PC, you're Beaner. Hey Beaner. Why do you shy away? Is it because I've been taking your brother's side when you're fighting? Because I can see you starting the fights. At least recently. Sounds like that might be the answer. Or the reason. symmetrical. I am a little bit of a stickler about that. Symmetry is imagery. I don't know. I like symmetry. That is our small little cave spider spawner. Doesn't matter anymore. Big old messed up cave. I don't have to touch it yet because that is a very messed up cave. With so many different mine shafts bound together, it, it really does make a make a unique thing in Payload, that's right. It also had thingamabobs, and this is where the spiders were. so many of them two spiders actually. Right. If I can hit the first, yeah, no chance. And like you didn't really have much of a chance before anyways, but still. With how many chests there are, there has to be several 
like mine shafts that are just connected. Which is fine with me, I like it. I mean, like, it's helpful. Got a bunch of good stuff from it in these chests. Yet there's also some not as helpful stuff, but still. But still. Okay, let's put a chest down. And drop in some stuff. Now let's go. That's not home. But this apparently was a that spider nest. To go what, this way, this way. Mm. I should probably make a separate thing about this, but still, it's fine. Coal, out this ting, 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 ting. Don't need more minecarts in there. And then the rest can go down here. Bread, this, that. That. Rest down there. Good. So yeah, I've been definitely finding a lot of stuff down here. Which is cool. I fucking love lighting up mine shafts. In fact, I've been doing this very smartly this entire time. But still, it is a long process. This way was not this way. This way. It's right. Back up this side. Mm. Feels weird to get out of there. Feels really weird. Okay, so I don't need this anymore. Dealt with the house. I dealt with the spiders. At least the spawners. And it sounds like there's still a couple uh, spiders left. I don't think I'm helping myself by only clearing this in certain spots. Like, I am going to have this entirely cleared at certain points, slowly, but surely. The fact that I've been clearing it just randomly probably doesn't help out all that much. Because if I look at this, I'll think, oh shit, so yeah, this must be around the area that I need to go. 
as opposed to, like, anything else. Thank you. Let's actually start properly clearing out these tunnels soon. Which means stripping out the minerals from inside the walls. Because I've been stripping out the roof and shit. But I haven't really gone for the minerals, because it's just more annoying. You need, like, two pickaxes for every axe or something like that. Once you start stripping out the walls as well, because you just use your pickaxe so much. I no longer have the spare pickaxe. I guess I used it. I don't understand the statement, remember me as I was. Like, it's pretty hard to remember someone different than how they- well, no, it's not that hard to remember someone different than how they are. But it's hard to actively remember only one aspect of a person. Like, let's say, uh... Um, you get old and whatever, and you say on your deathbed, Remember me how- as I was, or whatever. It's like, what the fuck is that even supposed to mean? Young? What was you? It's like, shut the fuck up and just die already. I'm trying to be prophetic. Berries, okay, more beet seeds, more gold. Actually, I think this is our first gold nuggets, so that's pretty cool. So we need to go back down. Oh, he filled up that inventory today. Back down. down. My body is very stiff at the moment. I have... I'm pretty used to not moving for hours on end, but fuck, it's not the best feeling in the world. I guess I'm gonna do that, uh, strip it from the walls kind of thing. I should probably start from here. Potato, iron, this, seed, seed. 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 Material. Coal. Coal. This. That. That. Bread. Okay, this way. 
Since we're just breaking ores, this shouldn't be too bad, right? It is bad. It's actually pretty awful. Maybe I should make a diamond pickaxe. I mean, like, we probably have enough diamonds to spare, right? I don't quite remember, but I do believe you can give skeletons swords. And apparently you can somehow give uh, wither skeletons bows. Or it's not really a somehow, it's you wait until their weapon breaks and then you deal with it. I think I've broken a skeleton's bow before. Either that or it just ended up picking it up for up a stone sword for me, because it was dropped a stone sword. Very weird. Scenario. It might have been a long time ago. It was a long time ago. It might have been a hatched out kind of thing where they didn't want skeletons picking up other tools. Diamonds. Look at that. Level 8 strikes again. Late strikes again. I'm happy about this. I am very happy about this. We're going to have stacks and stacks and stacks of coal. You can't leave anything. That's like the only indi that's the only condition for this kind of shit. You're not allowed to leave anything that you can see. my heart. Like, the scariness was- holy Jesus fucking criminies. What was- that was just an ocean of them. Well, it was like five, but still. see it just sitting there waiting for you. Have to explore the cave now that it's open. Just 
end already. <laughs> Another entrance into the uh, abyss. It's skeleton. I'm going back now. I'm going back now, and I'm not going to get stopped by anything now that we've made that pathway of clean energy. Unfortunately, we cannot properly close up this area anymore. No longer possible that we close it up like I was wanting to. Which is like, okay, I guess. More materials is just more annoying as well. Okay. Now that we've been sufficiently spooked, let's never do that again. Any materials? No materials. Thank you. I hate roof coal. Roof coal is always annoying. Gotta dig up with the coal. Upwards. I was wondering why I was smelling fish, and I do believe fish and toast is a sign of a stroke, but then I remember that we are cooking fish today. So I got a little less scared as to if it's a stroke or not. I gotta tell you, for a few seconds I was like, that's weird. Wasn't so much scared, I guess. It was just more of a, that's weird. Wonder what's happening outside kind of thing. I scared you for a second there. You were thinking I was having a stroke? Well, good. Because I also almost thought I had a stroke, so at least we're, e we're even. Look at how you... S this is a double chest filled with trash. 100% trash. Look, there's even a stone pickaxe in there. What a loser. We don't use stone anymore. Did I have a second floor? I did have a second floor in here. That I never actually cleared out fully. Okay. Good to know that I'm useful. That I'm doing stuff smart. Yeah, I think I think it's fish and toast that's supposedly related to uh, a stroke. I know it's I know it's burning toast, at least for one, like burnt toast. <laughs> Need cobblestone to cover up these pathways. <laughs> uh, mentally, maybe. No, ment mentally not. No. Am I? I don't know. I don't know. I'm suffering, but at least I'm still here. Also, I don't know how to say your name, so I'm going to call you Tuan. Welcome to the party. Hope you're having a great time. Because I am. I'm playing Minecraft. There's nothing bad about that. Until I die. Oh, thank you. 
and then I suffer a lot because Minecraft death is painful when you're playing hardcore and I feel like I should have like thicker skin for death in Minecraft now like I've lost a couple worlds like 20 uh, so I know it hurts a lot to die in Minecraft a lot when you're playing hardcore nice that's one entire area clean I guess I can like use that no I didn't thank you now we never go back up there it is now blacklisted Bing. redstone Look at that hole. Look at that. Mmm, yeah. It really hurts. How long were you alive? I think my longest is about 100 and... I want to say 40 days? 150 days? Look at that. Look at that cave. Look at that perfectly positioned cave. Three months. That's pretty good. By days, I meant like Minecraft days, not not like human days. Ah, oh, I'm still above the fucking block limit. Fuck. Oh, there goes some lapis. Whoopsies. 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 Oh, that's gotta hurt. That's really gotta hurt. Like that's one of those deaths that you can't even blame anyone except for your except for just buggy programs. Give me some more torches. I need myself some more torches. Ah, uh, well, we basically just started this today, so so far it's going great. Found a village, found a cave, found a mine shaft that goes. That looks like it's like five mine shafts more morphed together. So you know we're doing great. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Keep. Yeah, it's actually been a great start. Uh it was really surprising because I've had like chuffed mine ch mine shafts before, which was like four or five mine shafts mixed together. It was awful. I hated it. I also loved it. And this one is bigger. Like I found, I found like six or seven different, you know, minecart chests. Cool. We're back on a place that I've actually been. If only slightly. Part of the reason why I don't get confused in this labyrinth of torches is because I'm smart in my torch placement. I literally only ever place torches on the left hand side, I never place them on the right hand side, unless it's just a big old gap. Definitely smart to know how to cave. This is really far into the into the mine. I don't think I'm ever going to clear out this land. I like making it a nice smooth uh I guess you could call it a bore. A nice smooth bore. Nah, you can't really call it a bore camp, can you? It is actually good advice. Like, I've. It was a long time ago, but I've been 
lost in mine shafts and just caves up before and it's just awful because you'll realize that you're lost only after you've got a full inventory of stuff and it's like hmm now how do I get home I have no coal I have coal Like, you'll only ever realize that you're lost the moment you turn around to go home. I have literally gone through and spent four or five of my own hours trying to find my way home from a cave once. Because I literally kept walking around in circles because that's the way I, I went. For some reason, I went around in a circle or three maybe seven. It was awful. It was terrible. Maybe the reason why I talk about zombies so much is because Minecraft has zombies. It might be association. Yeah, you can blow up, sir. Thank you. So we're at we're about half heart, half health with the shield, so we can go. <laughs> Bitch. Ah, stop hitting me. You attack the zombie, not me. Thank you. Thank you for that follow. Paths. Quan. That is a cave. Spider spawner again. I've found like so many. Of these. It's been ridiculous how many of these I've actually found. Ooh, this is not one I've cleared out. Why, thank you. I try to be. Pretend it. I'm good at pretending it. Ooh. That one was sneaky. That one had big brain strats right there. In this little cave area? That was not what I wanted. Many criminies go away. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Must be because we're small. Direct, uh, direct interaction, that's the word, is what people love. And it's the only thing I have. My personality is, has been shot a long time ago. Hmm. Well, I doubt that. You could beat the Ender Dragon. Nice free torches. No one hates free torches. Where did the bread go? Here's bread. Like, you clearly beat the Ender Dragon. I don't think this cave is too deadly. Oh man, this is gonna be off. It's gonna be amazing when this place is clean. I can just imagine it already. Probably not a good thing to imagine it at this time, but I can imagine it already. Hey, we're back on a spot that I've actually been! I'm gonna take this time to strip up this coal. Thank you. I blocked off that spider spawner a while back. I don't remember where the... No, I'm, I think I remember. Do I remember? There was a skeleton spawner we saw at the very beginning of this uh, cave. 
So I think I remember where it is. If I remember it, then that's good, because I had plans to actually use it. To get free uh, arrows. Look at all those spiders. Look at all those spiders. Fucking spiders. Thinking they're better than us, because they have eight legs and eight eyes. Well, I'll tell you this. I got two legs and two eyes. It, it has no it has no bearing, but I've got four limbs. I'm only half the coolness that you are. So I know I guess that makes their points invalid. Shit, I was trying to invalidate them. Like anyone does on Twitter. That's a joke. That's a joke. My life's a joke. I need to sit up straight more. I've been... It's very slow, but as I continue playing and getting drawn into the game, I slowly hunch myself over until I'm just a fucking Grinch. Like, I'm pretty sure give me 10 more years and I can cosplay as the Gr Grinch without any makeup. Zombie? Zombie! Thank you. Zombie. That's where this land is. Okay. Okay, down. Uh, down. See, I I don't have an amazing memory, but I do have an amazing ability to recall... I guess there would be memory. Uh, I would not be able to ever tell you the directions that you'd have to go to go anywhere in this place. But I could definitely remember where I would have to go if I ended up in a familiar zone to get back home. Even without the torches. Thank you. I guess you could call that an amazing ability to recall. Amazing ability to remember. What is that? Clearly I've seen this spot before, but still. Okay, where is our spawner? I can't believe I didn't even clear this area out before I went on to greener pastures. Like, I'm not the smartest tool in this proverbial shed. It's also a lot easier to kill monsters when you have a sword instead of an axe, so I guess I'm pretty happy with that. Give me back my chicken. I like my chicken, actually. Ooh, another chest. Look at them, they're... They literally just pop up out of nowhere. I have so many of them now. Some people would say, oh, I'm jealous, and I'll say, I'm going to have an entire fucking single chest filled with minecarts by the end of this. That's nothing to be jealous about. It's infuriating. Because they don't stack. Why don't minecarts stack? It's such a... Like, I, I kind of understand why they don't stack, but it's just so infuriating that they don't stack. It's just infuriating that things like that don't stack. I have a spare axe in the back, I think. I think so, yes, probably. I mean, like, it makes sense if I did. Ooh, I hear spiders again. Lila. 
Okay, there's a spider above me. <laughs> Fuck, I hate those noises. I don't have arachnophobia, thank god. But I don't like the sounds of sp that the spiders make, like their walking sound, that little skitter. I don't think anyone could play Minecraft with arachnophobia. Like, I understand that the Minecraft spiders aren't really spider spiders, they look pretty clearly not spiders, but still. It's an irrational fear for a reason. Now we're down here. And there's no diamonds, okay. Like isn't that what isn't that what things like that are called? An irrational fear. Like being scared of clowns, for example. Or being scared of mannequins or things like that. Like some people have innate reactions to them. Which would be considered an irrational fear, right? Like, it's not shaming them, it's just the actual term. I'm pretty sure. I prefer going to the very end and clearing it out that way. Until my tools all break, but usually I have materials enough to fix them. Or make new ones. See, that's where it is. Okay, I must make it clean. I must make it clean. Poison must be cleansed. Probably not good. It's not good to uh, break spider webs with a sword. It takes like two, dur two or three durability from the sword, but still. It's the fastest thing in my inventory. So this would be me home if I kept going this way. And that's a ravine. And this is an empty space. Good. Let's take a look over the ravine. That's right, there was a spider over here. No, I didn't want to break that one, because that one's close to the skeleton spawner. Diamonds. And... Ravine. It's weird that this ravine is basically at fucking zero. Like, it's just barely sitting above zero. This way. Let's leave the spider to their spiderings. And again, I'm slowly leaning forwards and killing my back. I can feel it happening. So let's continue our talk about zombies. Zombies are good. Action vectors we've already dealt with, how certain zombies are kind of useless. So here's a way that zombies would make sense. Let's say you had a parasite or a spore or something like that, similar to the, uh, the Last of Us. Now, the Last of Us zombies, they die from just damage, but they die better by headshots, as most things do. Now here's a question. Why do they have to map themselves to the human brain? Right? 
a lot of these viruses say they reanimate the human brain and it's like but they leave certain aspects of it out so it's like it doesn't have to be the human brain as long as they have some connection to the spinal cord they should be able to animate the human granted rigor mortis would disagree with that rigor mortis would say yeah no that's not how it works so uh fuck you though that's what it would say to any zombie so it's like we don't really have to take that into account I saw a, a rigor mortis to rat the other day. It was weird. Or rodent. It wasn't a rat. It was a rodent. It was weird. I had to throw it away. Because I was the person on shift. And it's like, hmm. This thing's in the parking lot. <laughs> nearly underneath my car. Can you, like, get someone to move it? And it's like, well, fuck me. So I had to throw it out. But no, uh, rigor mortis would say fuck you to any zombie because that's what rigor mortis does. It, no, it doesn't. It's, it tenses the body muscles as they are. So in whatever position they're left in is the position that apparently it's, well, apparently it is apparently very awful to try and move a rigor mortis to animal if it's wrapped around or clenching onto something. So the more you learn, uh -huh, that might be why people try and drain the blood from animals as quickly as they can so it prevents that kind of seizing. Though I don't believe it only happens like usually like a day or so later. So who knows? I don't. I clearly don't know enough about rigor mortis to be able to give any proper information. It's a weird word, rigor mortis. That's a death hole full following me to. S that. I think that's nether uh, netherrack. Why the fuck is Netherrack here? What in the absolute fucking bullshit is this? I need I need inventory inventory this way. I didn't notice that before because it never occurred to me that there would be Netherrack in the cave. Why would there be netherrack in the cave? That's a very... Because I thought those portals could only spawn above ground. I didn't think they could ever spawn underground. Not this way. It's like... This, 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 this. Right? Aren't those only supposed to spawn spawn above ground? That's what she said. It's okay, neither do the rest of us. <laughs> Unless this leads me to the surface, this makes no goddamn sense. Why is this down here? I am going to take literally every single block out of here.
like fucking tree root veins or something like that. What the fuck is that? Okay, okay. Oh fuck, I was like, oh my god, that's not possible. It was not possible. I got scared because I thought it was a... Uh, what is that? Not an end portal. Uh, stronghold. So, now we know. Apparently, uh, these things can spawn underground. Why? I don't know. these different blocks are infesting my inventory. Also, this is a lot of fucking netherrack, like holy shit. Why is there so much netherrack? Is there always this much netherrack? tame axolotls, but I don't remember how. I think it's buckets of, like, special fish or something like that. I kind of feel like a monster. I don't have any reason to. Okay. That was, um, dumb. Almost. Almost very dumb. the part that's not making sense. Why was it in the cave? Sharpness 5, holy shit, that's an OP gold sword. Pretty much uselessness, but still. OP. Okay, this way, this way, no. Yes, no, yes, yes, maybe this way.
Okay. That, this, 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 that. Thank you, this, this. So we have been on that side before. any sense. I mean, like, I guess I'll have to accept it. Eighteen thirty-two four. Probably make one more or break one more fucking piece of string cobweb. some of this land before. That's a creeper. We don't have enough durability in anything to deal with that. Look at our shield, it's almost dead. I think I need to start packing stuff upwards. Which means I think I'm going to go find llamas. Good stuff. Like, that is a bucket worth of good stuff. This. That, this, this. Thank you. Give me the good stuff. Why is my phone buzzing? Because of useless stuff. Got it. And by that, I mean Duolingo. Gold tools, yay! I forget the usage of listening melons. I think you can make a potion with it or something. Sense. That would make sense. Fire truck doesn't go there. We got melon seeds! Yay! And potatoes. More potatoes, actually. Efficiency 3. Woohoo! I'll lose it in 2 seconds instead of 10. Wow! Who knew? This one actually might have some use. Sharpness 5. Like it wouldn't be in use for long, but it would have some use. Look at those two iron tools. They're fucking dead. And my shield is dead. They're all dead. Broken asunder. 
step strider. Six chests. That's good. Okay, let's grab some of this stuff. Let's grab the cobblestone. Let's grab... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine chests. Nine cart chests. Like, that is a lot of mine carts to find in one, quote unquote, one mine. Food. Not food. I mean, like, you could try to eat it, but you'd probably get sick. Impaling. I, I think impaling is only useful for the trident. I'm not quite remembering. That's right, we can put the minecarts up there. I don't have to put them in my inventory. My private inventory. Only fit for me. That's not the right tool. Um, goods, 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 goods. Good, not that spot. Good. Okay. Let's go get. Actually, what am I doing? I'm being an idiot, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I should be. Come on. Look at that. Genius. Genius. Come on down to Llama Town. That might be what I call this place now. I might call this place Llama Town. I'm not joking there. I might actually call it Llama Town. Like, they don't have a lot of space that they can hold shit, but they do have some space, so... What are you doing?! Shit! Shit! Come back here! Please! I need your inventory! That was not what I had wanted. How dare you try and run away from me? It was very mean of you. <laughs> and now you can go back up at your own leisure. Leisure is such a weird word, because it works with both leisure and leisure. I think these are one of the only mobs that can like sprint when attached to a lead. No, every mob can sprint when attached to a lead. Never mind, I'm dumb. And then you can go up there. I was thinking about uh, how you can lead mobs with a uh, not a lead, a, a stroke apparently. Uh, a a a a. Food product item like cows and wheat, pigs and carrots, apparently, chickens and seeds. 
I was thinking about that and how that works. Holy shit, that one hurt. That one hurt a lot. Okay, time to get the rest of the stuff. That hurt a lot. <laughs> that hurt my tiny brain a lot. I like, I'm not supposed to hurt it any more than it is. Doctors say you might get cracked that way. But it's like, it's like, yeah, no, I, I probably shouldn't. But no, when you lead animals with food or whatever, they don't sprint. They just walk very... <laughs> Except for I'm not tired. That's the issue. I'm dehydrated, but I'm not tired. I'm just way too focused on the game. Talking to people ain't my strong suit. Talking in general ain't my strong suit. It's just... I get really focused on the game and I lose track of how to think. Like, it's an, it's an unfortunate epidemic. Why was that in there? Okay, okay, what was I doing? I was going to deal with the farm situation, which means I should go get my beet seeds. Well, I mean, like, I've got Pepsi. I'm not that dehydrated. I'm just dehydrated. It's, 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 it's not a good substitute, Pepsi. <laughs> I've said this before. Don't, don't, don't drink Pepsi as a substitute for water. But the water in my care right now is apparently really gross, so it's like it's the only substitute I have. There we go. This, this, not that, not that, this. Thank you, this. I needed a new bucket. The other one has an axolotl in it. <gasps> I know what I need. I know what I need. I know what I need. I need glass, 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 glass. Give me the glass. Glass, give me the glass, man. Give me the glass. I need the glass. Give me the glass. Yes. Probably not good to be doing this to my own little uh, beach, but give me the glass. You know how much I like glass? Give me the glass. Is that annoying yet? Because it's annoying me. I'm hoping it's annoying everyone just the same, though. Equality, you know? So I got some plans. I still have a big plan, which I think I'll do eventually. It'll take a very long time though, of planting the desert. I have a plan to plant the desert. And I mean that seriously. I, I plan to plant over the entire desert. Strip every single sand block from that dusty old place and turn it into dirt, and then plant seeds, like wheat seeds, all the way around the world. Like, that is going to be my big magnum opus project. To replant the, an entire desert biome. How do I get out? How do I get out? I'm trapped! I'm trapped! Also having a bit of a stroke by going back and forth so much. Found a way out. Found a way out. This, 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 this. Not that. Sleep. Good. But actually, no. I'm actually. I'm. I'm not that tired. I just always have the tired voice. 
unless I'm fucking hyper. And when I'm hyper, I just go off and off and off and off. Almost like now, but actually worse. With how much I fucking wiggle my screen back and forth, it makes... It's no wonder why I'm terrible at FPS shooters. Like it's it's not even a question anymore as to why I'm bad at FPS shooters. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get a bunch of stuff to deal with that. Thank you. I kinda wanna use things, but I also don't wanna use things. Those things being trapdoors. Like, I, I both do and don't want to use trapdoors, that's the thing. Okay, I did not grab any of the wheat, because I'm smart. I have to still harvest it. Wonderful sounds in the game. Just the never ending pop of grabbing stuff. Might be a bit quiet. I don't know if the game and music is too quiet or not. I never know if the game music is too quiet or not. Like, it's probably a bit quiet over my voice, but still. But the only thing I ever have queries about. Because I'm silly. I am silly. Watch me laugh. Aha. Uh -huh. That is laugh. Laugh concluded. makes me think that I should not do a 10 hour, do a long stream again for a good while. Because my plans are to make this a 10 hour stream because I am a silly, silly child. I am going to die from all of the effects. Because it is summertime. Granted, today I'm not underneath a blanket. I remember when it was earlier in summer, despite it being so hot outside, it could probably cook an egg. I would still be in here under a blanket because I was dumb and because my legs were cold. Well, they're not cold anymore. The heater's pumping out enough heat. Heater as in my computer. Prolonged turned on this means heat. We almost have enough to fill up the entire area. Do have enough to fill up the entire area, never mind. Apparently I was dumb. Good. 
it's such a weird little gimmick. The thing right there, that's such a weird gimmick. Donkey. But that's not alpaca. I think the alpaca... I came from... that direction? Maybe? Or maybe it came from that direction. I remember seeing an alpaca before. Or a llama. That's right, I still have stuff in you. Thank you for showing me that. They clearly wanted to show me that I still had items in them. Food items, food items. Yes, the class is going well. This is going to use up a lot of glass. But if I actually follow through with it, it would look amazing. Okay, I need to get a lot more sand. Okay, I need to get a lot more sand. Where is the sand? That's not sand, that's mountain. Wait, I don't need to get sand. I can start with the villagers. That's right. I should start dealing with the villagers now that I've got rails and rail carts. Can you tell I almost... From the way I act, I almost got ADHD, probably. Like my thought process turns on a dime. Almost, though. It's clear that I have the ability to have an ability to focus longer than 10 seconds. Though apparently not speak proper sentences. Fuck, am I a baby? Maybe. Don't make me answer. Okay, so let's... See, I want to dig this underground because, or partially underground, because that way it reduces the block that's needed. So if we go like this. Because apparently they don't keep beds unless you're breathing them, I think. Or something like that. As far as I am currently aware. I don't think I'm 100% right in that question, but I think I'm somewhat right. Not much of a question now, is it? State wasn't much of a question yet. Yeah. 
Here's my question. How far away can a villager reach a workbench? I think I'm finally making use of all those fucking shovels. Too, but still. Okay. That's good. That's... This, that, this, 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 that. That's not good, but that goes. This, 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 this. Let's throw that in there. This, this. <laughs> oh, two glass. I thought that would be enough. Holy shit, I'm dumb. Oh, this is gonna take a lot of glass. This is gonna take a lot of glass. This. I need... Andersite. And... I don't have a lot of Andersite or granite, do I? I don't even have a stack of either or. Weird. What? Uh, 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 eared. Around 48 blocks? What? Yep, 63 and 31 blocks of andersite. Such a joke, the amount of glass that I thought I needed. Let's see. I need 1680 glass items, glass blocks. So I think, like, I'm like, what, one fifth of the way there? <laughs> one fifth of the way there. Maybe I should use... If I go like this and I go... That. Use that. Now I know what you're wondering, why would you do that? And I'll say, I don't fucking know. Oh, oh, interesting. But is that only to uh, equip a workstation, or is that to refill from a workstation? Because that, I think, is the sight line that a workstation has to be within. And it doesn't equate to being a usable workstation, or being able to use the station. Items, items... I wouldn't be able to do a certain thing, but I am able to do a certain thing now. So I was thinking of doing keeping them all on rail carts, a specific thing, but it's like, nah, that doesn't really work. And here's a question can we refill out of a rail cart? I'm getting my own personal uh, research assistant. I would have to do this research myself, but still. Uh, 
can a Minecraft build structure these hills from a minecart? some of these questions, holy shit. I think it's clear that I had the same question as some of the people, but still. Okay, so we need to plan out where the villagers go. We put a villager there, we can put one here. Perfect, actually. I don't have to expend any further. We can go like that. that. Now we do have to expand it. I don't want to go like this. Leave this one open. Leave these two open. They're too close to the door. And we want to go like that. This has got to be pushed back by what? Two blocks? Two blocks. Well, good news, villagers. You guys are going to be the first ones in the door. These guys from this one building are going to be the first ones in my... I was going to say torture chamber, but it's not a torture chamber. I mean, like, they're kept here against their will for the rest of their life, but it's not a torture chamber. I mean, like, I'm not causing them harm, I'm just extorting them. Extorting? No, it's not extorting. It's a... Uh, something else. And we need to go like this. And that. That. It's like a shelf system, holy shit. Okay, read that. useless stuff. It didn't give me the answer that I was hoping for. Damn it. It's okay though. We can we can make do. We can make do. Some cobblestone, I just need to finish up on the cobblestone point.
I have the ideas of a god. Got it. There we go. Just saves time. And this made what? Four blocks? Four blocks. I think the stark silver golem against the dark deep slate would be a nice contrast. He wouldn't be able to jump up that, would he? I don't think so. In like worst case scenario, we can check it out. Let's do this in daytime. My tools are almost all broken. It's probably not a good idea to keep them as they are. jump out good. You can heal an, an iron golem with iron ingots, by the way, which was a cool thing to learn. Can you jump out? I need to get a fucking need from this. Here you go anywhere. I don't think you'll go anywhere. One of you's on the lead. Good, 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 good. Okay, I feel like I should push him a little bit further ahead. As much as I... I want you to follow my instruction. Fit in a two by two? Oh, if that's true, then let's bring him this way. Wow, he really does only 
fit in a 2x2. Two two. He's barely fitting in here. Oh, you can hit zombies for all I care. Until the day that he breaks. Emotionally, that is. On my hop bar, I keep putting it down because I'm fucking dumb. My little door guard, you'll protect my villagers, correct? Exactly. Good. Kind of creepy when they actually respond. <laughs> Wasn't really expecting it, but uh, it happened. I was totally expecting it. So I guess for our first ones, we should put those, with these, these, and grab some more of these, and then throw more of these back in. The llama's over there. Good. Hmm. Hmm. Actually. One, two, three, and a bunch of these. something. I think I'll leave this sitting above it. I'll just have to like clean it up a bit. down here. Still be able to get them? I go like... What? I still be able to get them from down there? Okay, 
sir. Go down. Get into your spot like a good little boy. Get into a spot, child. Now, can you get out? Can't. You can't. Zombies start spawning. There's no roof, so they aren't protected. Yeah, I know, right? You know that, uh... It's actually a lot more useful than using fucking carpets to stop their movement. Because you can use carpet, supposedly. Two blocks of carpet or whatever to stop movement. This is, this was already proven to be 100% faster. Like, this just showed me that it's a, like, I like that so much more. I love it. I love it so much. not part of my... That was not my intention. Oh, what? How? You, that, that is not enough force to push you all the way back there. Like 
this. Okay, we'll use magic to push you out of there, I guess. Thank you. Jiminy Criminies. Oh, oops, sorry. Not my intention. Fuck. Stop being in my way. Problem here is that villager, not me. above your head? And you cannot. Okay. And not all of them can attach if they have a block above them, that's correct. Okay, so we got... what is that, three of them? Three farmers now. Keep changing their turn. <laughs> I made him angry. And you'll become the protector of these villagers. Do well, Sergeant Chicken. I was gonna call you Sergeant Chicken. Sergeant Pepper. Pepper? Pepper. Okay, so that one's got a single villager in it. We go like. Yes. I don't like that they don't let you set them on paths. That was the thing that was the issue. They didn't let you set them up on paths. my issue or whatever it was. Some other solo losers. Like those two. And then me. 
also probably want to go through your window. through your windows, everyone. Very kind of you. track, but it's okay. We've already murdered all the nitwits, so anyone remotely useless is already dead. Okay, this. about that. Well, that was dumb of me. Golem pit. Where's the He's not hiding in my house, is he? No, he's not. Then where'd he go? Did he go back to his house? No, the door just Hi, uh, you should return to whence you came. It is dangerous out here. Job. We don't support your kind here. We don't support your kind here. Take us to the bank. We don't care. Mind getting in that one? 
you mind getting in that one, please? Please? I promise you'll like it. It's like your own private little spa room area. I don't know what to call it. Thank you. Look at all you... Mm. Look at all you little whippers. Actually, can you get out now? Are you capable of getting out? Because if I can just leave these down, and you can still use it... Then I can just make the floor out of those and not have any up and down. Yeah, I could just go like this. Oh, that's genius! Look at me! Big brain! I, I'm proving myself big brain today. Get down there. He probably got that from the smoker. Ooh, that's food. Okay, uh, that, 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 not that, that, that. Okay, okay, what, what jobs do we want them to have? We've got a line of farmers. We don't really need a line of Fletchers, but having Fletchers would be smart. Minecraft mill. Jobs. Let's see. Look at the villagers. Food, farming, blah blah blah, blocks, lighting. Okay, now I have a thought. I can use the trap doors to store the babies and just kick the babies into the trap doors. Yes, and then I can just wait till they grow up, become useful members of society. Oh, he lost his head. Why did you lose your hat? Take that job. One of you is going to take it. I need to keep thinking about the villagers. And stuff. Cool smiths. Let's, we don't need shepherds. We don't need this. We don't need the stonemason. We don't need the leather worker. We might deal with the. Let's see. Which one of you? Why aren't you guys doing the things that I want? That way? Which one's gonna take which? Pick your poison, boys. Pick your poison. 
is that why? Oh, uh, let's see. Trading, 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 trading. A lot of useless stuff. Trading, that's the thing that I need. I need it. Java edition. Bone tool, weapon, Java. Hmm, yes. Libraries are good. And, I mean, like, yeah, but he makes orphans. I'm keeping them with their families. Kinda. I'm keeping them with their aunts and uncles for indentured slavery. It's, it's like comparing apples to oranges. Slavery? Orphans. You know, you just gotta pick one, right? Pick one, right? I will replace you with that one. Step into your workbench. Why are you also? Why are you also missing your thing? What the fuck is with these villagers? You should be able to use your. What am I doing? Why am I torturing these innocent people? I mean, like, because it's kind of fun, but that that. That's a different matter. That's a different matter. Okay. Okay, let's keep looking. The armor is good. The butcher is useless. Honestly, the butcher is very useless. Like... Fuck, the butcher is just so useless. Clever? Maybe. The farmer is okay, because we can make emeralds. Fisherman... ...can be okay. It can be okay. I mean, like, it's not the best, but it can be okay. And you can get buckets from it, okay? Fletcher? Okay, I got sticked last time, which was fucking useless. No one likes sticks. No one likes sticks. Pick a fucking workbench! I will kill all of you. So that your children cannot breathe. Why? Don't you two start doing this too. Te technically, you, your path find. Which one did you pick up? You picked up the one in front of you. That makes sense. Good. So why? I I I fuck, I don't understand anymore. The leather worker is even more useless than the fucking butcher. Librarian is always good. Mason. Now I don't really need the stone mason. The shepherd is kind of useless unless I would make a dye farm. That would be useful. But I'd need to have enough shepherds to deal with the dyes that I have. The smithing table is useful as well. So I think... For this side, we're gonna fill it up with... 
because for this side we're going to fill it up over here with cartographers and librarians, or librarians and cartographers. And on this side we have those boys, and I guess we can fill it up with some Fletchers, like Fletcher Fletcher, Armor, Tool, Weapon. There we go. That's some big brain stuff right there. I need a couple more of this. Fletcher, Fletcher, I got a Fletcher, I have a Fletcher. Uh, now that's for cartography. Let's see, blocks. Non blocks. Second Fletcher. Tool Smith. Grindstone. Weaponsmith makes grindstone. Tool Smith. And then armor is the blast furnace, right? Right. Right? Right, and Blast Furnace is made from Smooth Stone, that's why I couldn't make it. That would make sense, you see, I, I'm learning. I'm not learning well, but I'm learning. Actually, probably a bad thing that I'm learning. Not gonna lie. Stone. Now I need to smelt. I don't like that you have to smelt it twice. That's so ridiculous. Now let's work on getting these two losers over there. So I need five in total. Two more. Hi, I did not mean to enter. Again, this I need this, this cobblestone to make this. Blocks, last furnace. Thank you. It's gonna be annoying to pick these all up because I used to be able to just pick them up with the fucking what's it called. Ah. 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 
Uh, used to be able to pick them up with the, uh... Uh, 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 I didn't make the thing move okay. That's dumb. Hey, PC. Hey, sweet child. You okay there? What do I need for the uh, grindstone? Grindstone. Grindstone down. a smooth stone slab and I think I actually have one of those holy shit that's right I picked it up at the uh, other thing and this and then this and then that that then I just need cobblestone. Send the others in here. And then let them go free, more or less. Good. Good, good, good. So, how did that happen to you, sir? How did you do this? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds about right. Smooth, so you belong there. Excuse you. I am trying to direct you somewhere. Poison, sir. Excuse me, you're not allowed to be a farmer. Oh, oh shit. shit, shit, shit. I 
Thanks for uh, showing that to me, sir. something? Anything at all? Ever? leave you out here all night alone in front of all of the mobs. You'd be just a tasty little snack, wouldn't you? Excuse you? Fucking useless little bastard. Useless little bastards! Keep the Fletcher hat, man. Okay, so I still need two more willing, willing sacrifices. But I think we don't have enough people to be willing sacrifices, so we need to make some bread. And bread. And bread. And bread. And bread. Bread. Have some willing people at least. Make children. Make children. Yes. Yes, make children. Let's see extra bed, make children. you with the make children bit. Genius. Someone. 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 Enter. 
need two of you. Only two of you. Good. Okay, though. I'm getting too focused on this. I'm forgetting how to speak. Or that I need to speak. Nice. Go that way. Thank you. Definitely not the best solution, but it is a pretty decent solution that I've somehow made. Yes. Good job. Good job, everyone. Yes, this. They all kind of lost their jobs since I put a block in front of all of them, I'm pretty sure, but still. There we go. Now they're collecting their jobs again. Now that they can see the boxes. I'm gonna have to pick up all those rails. That's gonna be annoying. What's less annoying is the fact that I'm gonna have to go get all the beds. No, is that less annoying or equally as annoying? I don't know. I might leave some of the buildings as just references to the past. Okay, let's see. I've got a bunch of beds. Let's go place them in that one small house. Which will be the sole purpose of that house, giving me more villager babies. Okay, let's go this and this. Now 
I don't need to do that. I just need to... And now they can't escape. This is working out better than I expected. And I expected it to work out pretty decently because I was the one who made the idea. I mean, like, I'm a genius after all. Five and a half hours, holy shit. Surprised I'm even able to speak. I ran out of stuff to say a long time ago. Oh, I was gonna say that'd be pretty cool. Hmm. That would have been bad if I did not catch that. Zombies can't get in either. Good. Okay, okay, okay. So we've got a breeding post, we've got an outpost, we just need to make sure it's safe. And the outpost should be safe now that we have uh, an iron golem in front of it. Did I hear a villager? Is it from you guys? How did you get out? Did you teleport out when you woke up? I don't understand. Oh, that's probably how the bed. enter at night. I mean, like, so long as you can re- No, I actually don't like that. No. Off of there. 
will lock you up in a minecart and I forget about you. So I need to lock their trades by doing by doing things that they need to trade. So let's see. Materials. That, that, that. Emeralds, this. Don't think glass is needed yet. Carrots, potato, pumpkin, wheat, wheat, beet. More wheat. I've got coal and a bunch of other stuff. That is the issue because they keep unlocking from their workbenches. Or it at least is part of the issue. You don't really need to care about replanting because you get seed. And seed does not sell, you do not sell seed. stuck as your farmers, you're stuck as that, and you're stuck as a fletcher. Farm a farmer. Take your farmer jobs. So maybe that'll work. Three will become a farmer first. Now it's a waiting game. Potatoes. I like potatoes. And potatoes. Good. Okay. Now we've sold. We're getting somewhere now. Let's 
go Fletcher, this, this, because that's all I need. Fletcher. That. Uh, this. And that. Which one are you guys going to pick up? Pick your poisons, choice. And that's a weaponsmith. No, that's a weaponsmith. And that's a toolsmith, or which one of you is an armor? I'm kind of lost. I think you might be the armor. Something like that. I don't know. That's what I was missing. That's what happens now, children. Just need one tray to lock you in place, because I forgot about the fact that you're an armorer and you are a weaponsmith. Hey! Actually, let's go with. And let's go with that. Now everyone's job is locked in, and there's not going to be any more rotating. No more losing their jobs. Nice. Don't really like his job though. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see what it's like later on. Okay, so we've got a bunch of trash. We now need to go pick up all these rails. Then we can make a highway rail later on. I wish that a uh, toolsmith had a iron pickaxe as opposed to an iron axe, but beggars can't be choosers. I mean, like, the can, just. It's reprehensible to be both a beggar and a chooser. No one, no one likes being, no one likes choosing beggars. So now that we have most of what we need, we need to make a roof for the area. I think I should go out and get logs. Not wood, but logs. bought an axe. Weird. I might have it in my inventory and just have thought it was the old axe, but I'm pretty sure I bought an axe. No, I bought a stone axe. But I also bought an iron axe. What? Where did I sell an iron axe? I think I bought it. For like three emeralds or something.
Now I'm confused. And no one likes me when I'm confused because I get really confused. So much so it hurts everyone's brain. Because that guy ran away. That's right. At Walmart, we have back to campus in the bag. Why do we even have Walmart ad? No. Fuck Walmart. No one truly likes Walmart better than any other store. Like it's. It's the bargain brand store, but it's a bargain brand above bargain brand, which is a weird concept. How did... Right, you're still in there alone. Aren't you supposed to go back inside your house at this point? It's got literally every bed you could ever want. And I mean that legitimately. are talking about me outside, and that's not a good thing. I don't like being talked about. I don't like being talked about. It's weird. Especially when I can hear them talking about me. It's not, it's not fun. Well, it's not a bad thing, it's clear. I can hear that they're not talking shit about me, but still, it's like, hmm, kinda weird. Materials, thank you. Materials have helped me out a lot. Eats. That reminds me, I was going to make a melon and pumpkin farm. Albeit, a slightly worse one than what I kind of want to make. Yes. Iron. Okay. What are we missing? What are we what are we thinking? What are, what am I thinking? Probably nothing, but what am I thinking? I wanted to make a I wanted to get wood. Oak wood. You know, this is all fun. I love this. I think after I collect maybe a stack of oak wood, I need to leave for like two minutes to stand up and get stretch my legs, get some water, get some clean water. I think that was the issue. It wasn't clean. As I said, it had been, been standing for who knows how long. 
Granted, inside a closed jug, but still. It had been standing water for who knows how long. Which might be my common issue. You know, a fan blowing directly into my room alongside standing water might not be the most uh, thirst-quenching situation. Okay, would have had a stack right now. my house? That's not my house. This is my house. I don't have a pause screen. We'll be right back. And we're back, this time with clean water to drink, if, so you know, that happy. Uh, what was I doing? I was doing something with construction. That is right. I don't need these to be three blocks, several blocks tall. So if I go like this, just cut off all of these heads. Uh, 
you know, like, you don't don't cut people's heads off. It's a, I do believe it's a crime, but still, Can I cut off all these heads like this. part of the things that was feeling odd. It was asymmetrical. Why are you still here? Go home! Go home, you second-class loser. I know what I need. I need to use the rest of the pumpkins. For now. Pumpkins, 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 pumpkins. Seeds. Sleep. No sleep. This. 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 Am I having stroke yet? Maybe. I don't know. Ooh, look at that! That's a nice field of grass! Uh, this way. and then seeds. And then seeds. to wait for the melons to start growing. In fact, we can promote the melon's growth by the use of steroids. Now know this. Steroid advocation is good. Use steroids a lot. All. Use them all. Uh, this. Let me go like that. Thank you. This. This. Six. That. Thank you. This. Pretty sure impaling only really works on the trident, right? I think I asked that question before. I did. I'm still pretty sure it only works on the trident. I need to go get more of those trap doors. Let's get a 
lot more trapdoors actually. Trapdoor, 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 trapdoor. do I like? This? Do I like, like, that? But do we like A? Or B? That is a good question. It feels weird to try and pair things up with the uh, edge of the screen because I guess that means that the game is like skewed, rotated, or wrapped around. It feels wrapped. And I know most of this really doesn't matter. To me. I think I'm gonna go with B just because of the resource save. And then I can use A for other stuff. Like more on the uh, farm. Or not farm, trading hall. Let's see this. Would not go there. Yeah, it would go up here. Perfect. Now I can throw those as well. have a full block of water or a full block of wood because then that would stop the uh, sugar cane from growing. Literally takes... It takes what? Three going that way to make a set of six planks, or it takes six blocks to make two fucking thingamabobs. So yeah, it makes sense why you would use uh, slabs as opposed to uh, the trapdoors. I called them planks like an idiot. Okay, this. 
You could do that with melons, where you could still get seeds and do something like that, but you can't. As far as I know, you cannot. This, this, that, this wood. What am I doing? I also need so much for this. I also need sticks and then. I need food apparently because I'm. I've been running without food in my inventory for like for 20 minutes. Who knew? Who oh, knew? Not me. Oh. Oh, it looks like these guys are useless. For the next while. dangerous zone. Hey, he killed the zombie. He did it a bit late, but he still killed it. That's the important thing. argument, I do not. Oh shit. Return to your job, sir. You need to return to your station, sir. Also, I realized only now that I've put that in the wrong spot. I did mean to recess them one block lower, or one half block lower. Well, at the very least, we know that their trades will be good after they've all recovered.
a water bucket, but there's no water in it. I guess I need to go steal from the fountain again. Like, he's probably sticking me there because of the daylight, but still. Or because of the iron golem, but still. Stop mobs from spawning on top of them. Like that's that's why I put them like this to stop mobs from spawning. That is a zombie I almost forgot. way unless I open up this middle pathway no zombies getting through here because I dug it out like an idiot I mean like we can use dig the part dug out later on I can't believe I didn't notice that until right now because I was thinking about it in a different way. I was thinking, no, that is three blocks wide. Never mind, I was just thinking about it in a different way because I was an idiot.
Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Indentured servitude. The best kind. I don't think this would be indentured. Indentured? Indentured servitude. Indentured servitude is a form of labor labor in which a person at indenture agrees to work without salary for a specific number of years through a contract for eventual compensation or debit or debt repayment. When the indentured loan is paid off, the worker was free. Sometimes they might even be given a plot of land to grow on. Nice. Stone fuck. I think this is my best house, uh, villager house to date. Like, to date. I feel like I should leave this free, like, open like this. That way I can expand it further, if need be. Jerry to throw the poor guys, but still. What you can do, you do what you can. Okay, we have gold equipment. Okay. This may be dumb. This is probably very dumb. Probably see what I'm about to do. Equipment, gold equipment, gold equipment, this, arrows. So need to make our wonderful bucket of axolotl. In fact, I just thought of an interesting idea that I will only follow through with later on. I have to search up depths. For I think it just makes you work fast, oh, fun, swim faster. Strider. Underwater movement, okay. And then impaling. Thing move up with the trident. Extra damage on each hit against aquatic mobs. Okay, and this is impaling what? Five? Adds 12.5. Increases 21.5 damage. Damn, that's strong. 
I guess I'll need to get a trident before I uh, deal with a guardian. Let's see, I need string. Thank you. Thank you. I also need a sword. I'm going in there with just the axe, thank you. Alright, let's go down. I feel like it would be somewhat smart to go down there with a... Ooh, mm -hmm, maybe. Maybe at a later time. I feel like it would be somewhat smart to go into the nether with a llama. Extra storage space, but it's like... It might not be that smart. It might be something that sounds smart and is actually very dumb. Thank you. This way. So I need a bunch of them. Actually, wait. Guess it wouldn't have gone too far anyways, but still. But still. I would like for the water to stop moving me, please. Enchantment table. One. Two. A lot slower without a uh, enchantments for a lot, a lot slower. Another five to go. Six. Feel my neck cracking. It's not good. It's not good. It is good, but it's also not good. Because it's not the good kind of cracking. I don't know. I kind of want to go eat fish. What is that, 10? Sitting at 12. I need two more. Just take this last one. You never know when you need a little bit more uh, nether stuff. Obsidian.
know it's fun learning Spanish. You know it's also fun cheesing the learning of Spanish. Like I'm kind of cheating by you on Duolingo just to keep my streak alive. Just by only choosing the easiest thing. And it's kind of fun. Not gonna lie, it's kind of fun. Yo soy un niño. La manzana. Hombre. Mujer. Mujer. Means woman. Yo como. Tú comes. Él come. I have to do my daily streaks, okay? Shut up. Eres un hombre. Cannot listen. Cannot speak. I am the milkman. Yo soy un Yo soy un hombre leche. I am the man milk. Mmm. I do believe that would turn into milkman in Spanish. I am the milk. I am the man from milk. Drinks water. Agua. There's un niño. La manzana. Manzana means apple. I really hate that this is very prickly about spelling. It's like, I know what I spelled. Just because I got fat thumbs doesn't mean anything. Shut up. Stop shaming me. There we go. There we go. I'm back. I really did have to do that, though. Oops. Was that diamonds, 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 diamonds? Diamonds. This, 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 this. This. Bookshelf should have been here. Seven's still a pretty good number. It's not fifteen, but it is seven. It's no fifteen, but seven's still good. That's right. That's why we're going into the nether. We have to save those villagers. And infect the rest of them, but still. We have to save the villagers. I'm thinking... This one can be our... Thingamabob. This, that, 
efficiency, efficiency, and breaking. I almost forgot that I need the fucking things, so let's go get some lapis. And we can also throw a flint on our table. And this and that. That, that. This we need. Doesn't hurt to have a little more, right? Right. I mean, like, it could hurt, but it doesn't hurt us. Hopefully. Sharpness. Efficiency and unbreaking, that's nice. Lunch. But there's one last thing I need to do before we settle down too much. Sneeze. Ah, it burns. It burns a lot. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then that, and that. And I'm breaking three. And then we'll use. This building, I guess, its location as the thing. I think it's interesting to have a uh, I feel like I should have raised it up one more block, fill up the entire room, but we'll learn. Actually wait. It's kinda useless to have the water bucket office. And there. Ooh, yep, there's also another thing. No, we can make a chest. We can make that in there. Never mind. Her shield a little dabbledged. Oh, at least we are in the nether now. Understand how the black stone is easier. Ah.
Thank you. That's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Granted, it might be getting broken a lot faster because I have the efficiency 2 on the pickaxe, so that would make sense, actually. The thing I don't like about this area is the magma cubes. This seems to be magma cube central. I don't really have good feelings about magma cubes. Never really did, and I never really will. Actually, like visible from the portal. I don't know if that's good luck or not. That could be a bad omen. I think that could very well be a bad omen. stay out of this area. Probably useless. Thank you. That, that, that. This. Myself. That. Kind of useless to have a furnace. Actually, no, it's not. I can just get buckets of lava. Uh, in fact, I can get a bucket of lava right outside the door if I had brought a bucket. Okay, this. This, thank you. That's a nice little, uh, Viewpoint? Vantage point? Vantage point. I have been streaming for six hours straight. You're right. Also, hello again. Actually, we're nearing seven hours. We're five to seven. Five minutes to seven hours. It's kind of ridiculous. this way. We 
we have been going for seven, and we're gonna keep going till we hit ten. It is going to take a long time though. So I'm prepared. I actually went off and got water earlier. Not that I drank any of it, but I went and got it. Actually, that would be a good idea to drink right now. Now that I'm boiling hot and in the nether. Yep, a lot better than the uh, gross sitting water that was in this jug earlier. A lot, a lot better. And it's better than the Pepsi that I've been drinking in order to retain any amount of hydration. Hi. Why do you have so much health? Gonna jump down. Okay. Well, we can keep doing this then. Because I fucking hate magma cubes. They are worse than almost any other creature in the game. Like, there are some creatures worse than them, clearly. But they are pretty awful, magma cubes. We need to start digging down a little bit. The thing is that doing this gives us a bunch of blocks that we can use inside the nether fortress, so that is nice to do. Granted, I am fucking having a hard time seeing anything. All I see is a swinging purple stick. Terrified to go too far. See, yeah, no matter what, I was gonna have to pillar across a little bit. Which makes sense, you know? <sighs> They're right above me, but there is the overhang. That is protecting me. Hi. Uh, thank you. I say I need you to uh, fall for me. Not in the romantic way. Yeah, that'll protect me from if. Holy Jesus, what the fuck was that?
Fuck, was that, was that a was that a blaze? Can a blaze see me from somewhere? Fires don't just randomly start, do they? So it's important. Slither, welcome, welcome. So it's actually important if you're ever nether, uh, nether streaming, uh, delving, delving. Hello. If you're ever nether delving, to do this. This will protect you. Uh, seven hours actually. We've hit the big seven. This will protect you from weather skeletons if you do this with any material because they are just over two blocks tall so they can't walk past this and you can sprint at full. It won't protect you from the regular skeletons or the uh, blazes but those things you can kill on your own time. Who cares? But you're right, we've been streaming for a long time today. I expect I will be having a nice, wonderful break at a later point. Holy Jesus, that actually kind of spooked me. I heard the clickety clackety. To go good, good. Where are all the skellies? Hi. Nice thing is that these guys also give coal sometimes, so... If I made some sticks, which I have, and I made some torches, which would be a smart thing to do, even if they don't stop mob spawns, Now, which one of that is the? Like, which part of that sentence is meant to be the? Yeah. Too many criminies, my guy. I'd rather not get the whole blaze in my face. I like the idea of blaze it, but not that hard. I think that's the first time I've used a bow in this entire game. We want the good good. Ah yes, we do. Excuse you? I was uncalled. He's at it again. Bitch. 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 Like, it's better than the wither effect, but still. a lot better than getting hit by that wither effect. Hey. Yo mama ugly. Yo mama fat. What you do, eat your mama? Can 
Thank you, Slither. Uh, no, that's not even Slither. Uh, Coex? Thank you, Xbox, for that uh, follow. They're just trying to get me today. There's nothing that way. Okay. Fuck, there's someone up. There's slime boys above me. We're, st we're stuck. We're trapped. We almost were trapped in here, actually. Uh, this. Ooh, that is a double wither. Ah, bitch! What? Who? Ow. Stop it. I only have so much food in here. You want some food? No food for you. Jude does not like food, so no food for Jude. Got me? I hope you dude. Nah, uh, let's not go out yet. Let's not go out yet. Cobblestone. Okay. This. Torches are probably a last necessity. Nether bricks, because we can get more of those. are you doing down there, buddy? Now try and fight me, you little sap piece of shit. You're not shooting it. Ow. I could have been using that the entire time because I'm dumb. Hey, a second. Ooh, 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 that is a... They almost tricked me. They almost tricked me with that one. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're going back. And people say that it takes six hours to farm a single wither. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Whoever said it took six hours to make to farm a single wither, that's bullshit. Look what I've done in like what? Five minutes? No, 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 no. I saw him. I saw him and he was trying to get me. How dare you. Fucking... Rick. Rick. Get back over here. How dare you? They already know what's making me angry. They already know what's making me angry.
That's the worst spot for those spawners. It's both the best and the worst spot. Awful because I hate it. Now that could have been dangerous. You want to go? Let's uh, actually go with these guys for a second. Okay, you summoned in reinforcements. People would say that's cheating. I would say that's cheating. A lot of cheating, actually. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get. Useless animal. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo hoo. That was very spooky dooky. I did not like that. Ah, get out of here. Thank you. This is an actual way to stop this mob spawner from working. You gotta destroy all the, uh, well not destroy, you have to block up all the, uh, Spawn points. I'm gonna pickle. Ow, ow, ow. I am in a very, very bad situation. Let's steal from the castle. This would be a safer situation. Okay. We can deal with that when it comes to it. We don't need to deal with that right now. Thank God. I hear you. I hear you all. I know you're there. Maybe they're above me, actually. They might not be as there as I was thinking they are. Fuck, these noises are spooking me. I need block. 
fucking sp mm. What the fuck was that? Did you just like jump off of there or something? Why? Why would you do that? What purpose would you do that for? Like it's pretty clear the purpose, but still fuck you. Blocks, thank you. I need a lot of these blocks now. Ah, mother truck me, fuck. I didn't see the wither. I did not see the wither. Ow. Well, that's okay. It just means the end to, of today, you know? It just means the end of today. And we can suffer again tomorrow, because that's what I'm planning to do. Suffer again tomorrow, and this time, not die. Hopefully. I'm thinking, I think I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself by the whole not die bit. Fuck me. I don't like this when I die. Too stupid shit because I get overzealous. Fuck me. Like, I could have just sat there and shot them with a bow. I would have been fine. Why did I have to go run in and forget about the whole wither skeleton thing? Fuck me. I am grumpled. I am angry. I'm gonna take some time to diffuse. I'm gonna take some time to calm down. You know, I'm gonna chill out. All that good stuff. So yeah. Not the happiest camper in the world. But. Thank you everybody for coming and watching and joining us today. It's been seven and a half hours of pretty well enjoyment in my in my case. I enjoyed it for until now. So thank you so much and have a great day.